Dr. Eddie Monroe's really fun zoo. We're back. We are back. We have made it. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that we had the alpacas. We have the alpacas. Carlos the giant otter has is about to die of old age. Carlos the giant otter has died of old age. Oh no. Oh no. Is this him dead? Yeah. Rip Carlos. He's dead. He's in his enclosure. Dead. Look at these two go. Woo! They go right on the path. Everybody thinks that that's amazing. I don't know if uh, if it's safe. I don't know if that's uh, at all safe. Is the only thing. We might need to make it so that there's some railings. I don't know if we want them. We might have to uh, reconfigure this a little bit, right? It might it might make sense to reconfigure this one. Because I don't know if we really want people uh, to be rubbing shoulders with the alpacas, right? You, I'm, you're glad I'm enjoying the conservation. Pa oh man, it's so good. Did you write? Were you the one who recommended it in the first place? If so, I tip my hat to you. It's been really good. Many guests think that tickets are underpriced. Oh, again? Okay. What's the? Five bucks? Okay. Five bucks for an adult? Sure. Uh, our inspection report has not been done. Last year's profit was 13164 bucks. Our marketing, guest education, is not the best. We're working on it, though. Steadily, slowly, steadily, we are working on it. Okay, let's, um, let's reconfigure this a little bit, then, so that uh, it's... We gotta get these fences out of the way, right? We'll put this thing, uh, like, in here. And we'll take some of these boards and stuff off. Uh, and then we'll have to delete some of these fences too, right? So I, I suppose we could make it like a, a double. Oh. Um, let's get rid of this stuff. Okay, um, why is there a path here? I don't know. Who put this there? Okay, we don't want that there. And then paths. What is this? Tree bark path? All the kids looking at Carl lifeless body floating in the pool. No, it's okay. They've removed him. Don't worry, okay? Jack, thanks so much for the 10. They removed him. He's been removed. It's fine. Okay, this we're going to move uh, over here now instead, I think. Makes more sense for it to be there. Okay, so now people can go through here. We're going to change this path around a little bit, too. Okay, we can't get rid of that last bit of path, but we can make it so that it goes like this. That's quite nice, actually. That's good. That's good. I'm, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Okay, this needs to go. This needs to go. This needs to go from here. Okay, we can, uh, we can reconfigure this a little bit. This... Oh, weird. Can go here. This can go next to it. Fine. And then let's pick up uh, one of these here. 
and let's put one of these here like this okay so the people will stay on the path and then we will put some uh, fence great okay I'm, I'm already loving this by the way I think I'm thinking this is this is the one this is potentially the one props fences now we've got the aquatic fences as well if we want to use them they look kind of nice there's the animal talk seating railings there's also the Australian fences which I think look pretty good and then there's these like really fancy looking ones too but then there's just like mesh fence as well right Yes. It's going to take a long time to place all this fence like this, but I think it'll look good when it's done, right? And then you could just kind of go like this and copy a, a bigger selection of it. Remove this last bit here. Yeah, I think this is fine. It'll give us some. Um, it'll give us some more flexibility, right? To go around like the the corner paths and stuff. Although, I think we probably want to have um, this just go straight from here. Do 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 I think what we'll do is um Oh, that's annoying. No, let's do that. I mean it doesn't look the best, but okay, good. Now move this over here instead so that when they turn around they chuck the money in right and then we can also have something else here right so the so for the alpacas we could draw like an invisible um, barrier for them and use uh, some of this so that means that we potentially we don't need this bit either right we can use an invisible uh, barrier we still need uh, the uh, the the keeper to access it but then we could put something else here right something um you know like some aardvarks or something what about aardvarks nobody likes aardvarks okay fine fine i understand they're not for everybody I get it. Do you get soft farks? No, no, this game goes only, only hard. You can't get soft ones in this. Okay, let's get this. We can follow this path around, it's fine. Wait. That one needs to curve a little bit more, I think. They're struggling to find staff rooms with space. That's fine. I'll fix that after. We're almost ready to straighten this bit up here. I'm placing all of the little doodads. Oh, 
weird look. It's like a little bit um, uneven. Ooh. And then we can just go like this too. Close enough. Oh shit. Uh, how do you redo? Oh no. I don't think you can redo. Okay, good. They're inside. It's uh, it's much safer now, right? Okay, how are these guys um, doing here? They are. This looks okay. Their environment looks okay. Their coverage. Enrichment, they have none, though. Okay, let's see. Habitats. Uh, filter. Species. Not American, but aardvarks. Okay. And we want food and water, which we have already. Beds and shelters. Heaters and coolers, enrichment items. Okay, what kind of enrichment items do these guys like? They like a cardboard box, apparently. And maybe a small ball. There. Look at this. They're gonna love all this. And maybe a, a herb scent. They jumped over the fence! Come on! You're meant to stay in there! You're gonna hurt somebody! I was not expecting that to happen. I didn't realize that they could do that. Okay, aquatic theme is done. Let's go for the... Um, let's go for some more barriers. Alright, good. Vet research is still happening as well. They are long jumpers. You're right. Look at that! Going for it. Might need higher fences. Do 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 do. They love it, yeah. I didn't. I wasn't uh, banking on them being able to um, to jump so high. Oh, look, they're sleeping. Um. Okay, animals. Zoopedia. Interspecies. Llama will be enriched by sharing their habitat with these animals? None. What about some Indian peafowls? I think we could probably get some peafowls in here, right? What kind of ab um, what kind of um, habitat do uh, do pin Indian peafowls need? Indian peafowls. Okay, this should be fine. Grade one. We we should be fine to just put them in. I wonder if they'll get pissed if they're in the same thing as the uh, the llamas. Maybe we should keep them keep them separated, like like that song. You remember that song about keeping things separated? Now nah, I never went bird hunting in Canada. No. Okay. 
Ooh. Oh, um, sorry, I just reading something. What animals does our farm have? Um, our animals have. Our farm has. Um, I gotta figure out this this llama thing though. I feel like I've made this like one habitat here, but I don't want. Um, I'm gonna need higher fences though. If I if I separate out this habitat, I need higher fences for these guys, right? It just I have to have them. I wonder if I um No, they'll be able to get out like that too, right? I'll have to be careful how I do this. I need to move them into somewhere else, I think. I need to move the llamas somewhere else. I need a bigger... I need more barriers, I feel like. What is this, a grade 2? Animal trading, llamas, zoopedia. What do they actually need? They need a, a grade 4. Higher than 2 meters, a grade 4. Okay, so if I go barriers... This is a grade 5. Okay, I'll, I'll uh, unlock some new barriers, and then we can uh, move them around. Maybe we'll just leave them like this for now. Okay, I think another thing we can do is... Um, Alright, let's finish this research. Let's go to options, and uh, settings, game, sandbox, animal settings, life cycle, enable welfare... Okay, let's make it so they can't die. Uh, aging and birth. Animals will stay the same age forever. Pregnancies will not advance while this is disabled. Turned off animals never die of old age, but may die of other causes. I just, um, I know what, I know what's going to happen eventually. We're just not going to want to manage all this stuff, right? So we either turn it off now or maybe just turn it off in a bit. But I feel like uh, I feel like I'd be happy enough just creating a habitat, putting in the number of animals I want, and then never looking at it again, sort of thing. You know? Why do I play sandbox, not franchise? I used to. I want. I kind of want to play franchise again. I used to play franchise when the game first came out, but. All of my fr my franchises would be fine up to a point, and then you get into this doom cycle of guests um, requesting refunds, and I just lo lost all my money, and I lost like two or three zoos like that. And I think it's changed now. I don't think the refund. I think they've they've redone the whole system around refunds. So I'd be tempted to play franchise again, with it being like the management side of it being a bit more stable, you know. But I don't know. You want your money back? Reduce animal aging rate times. Let's do that so that they don't uh, they don't die as fast and mature as fast and stuff, right? It'll be a bit more stable. When you get over two thousand guests, things can fail through lag depending on your computer. Well. That's, I mean, that's a different, that's a different issue. That's something that you, we can, we can work out or whatever. But the refunding thing was, it felt like there probably was solutions to it, but we, we, we got to a point where it was too late, you know. It was unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Play some rocks in the llama pen? I, I think we're going to change this whole uh, layout, though. Um, I think we are just going to change it. We're going to have to move these things um, around a little bit, too. But maybe plan it out uh, better so that, you know, we can have, like, a, a keeper hut central. Maybe we just need to build, like, little, uh, you know, satellites or something so that we can have all of the the staff stuff central and then they can just quickly access like you know three pens or whatever it should be fine 
three three habitats per per satellite or something like that. You always have to cap the guests. We had the same thing with uh, Planet Coaster, though. We our park got too big at one point, and there weren't enough guests that looked sparse. And then we upped the amount of guests, but then the the game just ran like shit. Past a certain amount of guests, it just it just couldn't handle it, you know. Llamas need to be able to spit on the guests as they please. Yes. Look, this one's... He's just done it. <laughs> the guests love that. Oh, my God. He had no thoughts on that. He just got spit on and that was it. Ah, yeah, they love getting spit on. Hey, look at this guy. Oh, he's thinking about it. He wants to do a jump. He wants to jump. We got a jumper. We got a, a jumper in sector C52, C532239 or, oh no. I kind of like, um, I like doing like the square layouts, but it just looks like, it just ends up looking like too, um, too square, <laughs> way too square, right? That's the problem with the square layout. Every it just looks too square. The otter bit looks cool. Uh, this is the first bit. We just chucked it together. It's not really. Uh, we I mean we made this like viewing platform thing. We tried to get the guest education stuff up, which is uh, interesting enough, I guess. But um, all right, facilities, media devices. might need one of these for the llamas oh they're I was calling them alpacas they're they're llamas sorry I apologize for this I don't know what I was thinking it turns out I wasn't thinking at all dr. Eddie Monroe zoo for squares yeah I think maybe we could uh, we could change uh, some of this around a bit, but then look, we'll have this like this doesn't line up with this, so we'd have to move like all this over. Which, fun luckily enough, I can do. I can do it because I can select all of these together, right? And I can just move it all over and then center it, and then we'd have like a big path, and then we'd be able to put like uh, some stuff in the middle too, which might look kind of nice. So we'd have to get rid of the path behind here. Oh, Mr. Ideas is cooking a bit right now. Watch out when Mr. Ideas starts to cook. So we could just move the... Oh, shit. It's not going to be that easy, actually. We've got all those paths. Uh, the paths aren't, uh, aren't a big problem, though, right? It's a pretty straightforward layout in there. Hope things are going well. Hey, thanks, Edgar Allan Pog. <laughs> things are going quite well. Thanks. I hope things are going well for you too. Um, so, how many how many roads is it? Three. One, two, three. And then three. I think we'll have to move it, right? Because eventually I'll want to move it, and then I'll be pissed when I can't move it. Okay, put it there for now move some of this stuff in oh I th the only thing is though is that uh, we might not be able to get these uh, these things back on this little island right it might not work is this exactly where it's gonna go three that ah, fuck it we got to do it right I'll leave the furniture here. We want to align to grid. Oops. Let's 
So it's like this, right? Oh, but then we want to remove these paths. We want to move this guy, say, here for now. And then this guy can go here. Paths, line to grid. Yeah, perfect. Okay. And then from here, we do the... Uh, the rest of the stuff, right? It's just a case of moving this stuff into position back here. can do some more um, stuff like this on the other side too right I think that'll make uh, it'll it'll add some nice symmetry right Ooh -hoo 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 -hoo. fine, right? Do, 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 do. Okay. Let's see if we can get these things to go back where they were. It worked out good. It, it it worked out it worked out fine, I think. Eddie Monroe's really fun zoo. We did it.
gotta, gotta get the mmm spicy chief beef back in. With the gulpy machine. And then we need a bin. Nice. We gotta get the ATM back in here too. It was here. And if you recall, we also had a bin <laughs> at the back. Perfect. And then we just gotta put these tables back in. Um, it looks a lot better now, doesn't it? It's even. It's even, Steven, on either side. We've achieved symmetry. Dr. Eddie Monroe's. Okay, that's good, because now we can put like a centerpiece if we want. We can put like a little... We have a place to put like some of our statues and stuff, right? Feels like building Welcome Break on the M5. Maybe that's exactly what I'm going for. Okay, llamas are completely uh, researched. Llama Todd is thirsty, apparently. I guess they're not filling up his water tray. Let's see if they fill up the water tray now with the iPad. You think they need more water than that? Okay, they're spitting. He's spitting on them still. Look. You're not, you're not going to have much spit soon if you're that dehydrated. Maybe, like, uh, slow down on the spitting. I think the entrance looks a lot better now. Because it's, it's got some symmetry, but it needs to be... What's this? It needs to be... Um, visitor Center Garden. What kind of rocks were we using? Taiga. Do 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 And then just some little um some little shrubs. a tree or two over here too um, maybe some hawthorn bush where are the trees what about this tupelo
That's nice. That is quite the tupelo. Oh yeah, there's wisteria as well. If you like wisteria. Not those. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, great. This is looking pretty nice. You just need, like, um... Some nettles? Nice, okay. We might be able to achieve um, Lama Zen. Taiga. Where's the poopy go? Where's the poopy go? I'll tell you where the poopy goes. Not in the llama pen. We got low welfare on the axolotls as well, apparently. These things are on the verge of dying. Let's give them a large rock pile. Let's give them all the rock piles and all of the logs. Their layout is looking good. Their temperature, I think, is fine. Oh, they're fine now. They're upset about my otters? What about them? Recore? Lamatod's... Nutrition has, uh, he's dehydrated. Well, nobody's, is there water in here? It's accessible? Yeah, there's loads. All right. Don't worry, the vet's coming to get him. We're going to have to, we're going to have to hydrate him. Go get hydrated. Now's your time. Oh. Yeah, look. It worked. He's hydrated. Oh, thank the Lord. Hydration achieved. Hey, Caddy Boy, thanks for the five gift subs. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. All the spitting dehydrates. Um, oh, man. Yeah, you're right. It does. Group two. This is the exit, which we have control over. We can, we can do stuff to it if we want. Okay, let's see what uh, barriers we got. Did we get a new barrier? Did we get a grade... Oh... This is a resistance grade 5. Gabion. Looks like we got a Gabion. To find the perimeter of a habitat where a barrier isn't needed. Example, a river for animals that can't swim. Or you can just put, like, other walls in too, right? You'd not want to be a llama in the llama compound? 
Why not? Why, it's fine in here. It's just temporary. It's just, it's, it's only temporary. I'm going to move them, okay? I promise. I'm not just going to leave them in there. For too long, anyway. Where's the poopy go? Where's the poopy go? I think that looks fine for now. Okay. We want to... Um, I wonder if we... Um, we'll probably move the otters. Maybe we should... Uh, maybe the next thing we should do is concentrate on making a new um, otter enclosure. A better one. Um, and then build in, like, the, the viewing uh, education stuff for them and, and everything as well, right? And then just give them their own... Um, Give them their own keeper hut with a break room, and then we can assign the the area, and then people won't get like uh, we could get rid of all the issues with uh, staff areas and stuff. I do love my rocks, yeah, I do love them. First order of business: move the otters. Yeah, they don't need a huge uh, area. The otters, it turns out. We could maybe uh, get them uh, in here in like some sort of L shape, potentially. I think we want to try to... I want to keep some symmetry, you know? I would love to keep a little tiny bit of symmetry. But I would also like to make it not a, like a grid of squares. It would be nice to um, have some symmetry, but then also have some shapes as well, you know? You love that the llamas can jump the fence and just start shitting on the path. <laughs> I also enjoy that. Oh, look, they're doing an otter talk right now. Otters. Freaking otters. Zoos aren't ever symmetrical. Well, we're going to change that. We're going to make this one a little bit symmetrical. So that when you look down on it, it makes it makes sense. You know? The llamas could use some luggage. My face is symmetrical. Break the mold. Okay. These are all terrible suggestions. Um, I'm just waiting for some good suggestions. You know, I want somebody to say... This, I love symmetry. Make a grid. Keep it flat, you know? That kind of stuff. Make a dome. Yeah, make a dome. What about, like, some little bird pens? Because birds... I don't think birds need, like... Okay, an Indian peafowl, for example, only needs... 312 square meters of space and a grade one barrier. That's nothing. That's nothing. That's like, that's the easiest one. What kind of things do they need uh, in their... Um... We could research. No interspecies. Well, it doesn't really say how you need to like decorate their pens or anything. A kangaroo MMA fighting cage? A hedge maze? Let them roam your zoo. Okay, I really don't want to do that, though. I don't think I want them to, to roam around in the zoo. I think that would be terrible. Um, paths? Align to grid?
I think we want to give them more room than they need, generally, right? Would be good. Oh, paths. I actually want curbs on for these ones. What about some like little monkeys or something? We could have like a little monkey pen or something. Let the tigers and lions roam free. I, I think uh, we just want like some smaller stuff, but um, whatever we end up making over here, we could maybe make a couple of different little pens and then just have like a keeper assigned to all three of them from the back or even perhaps the side. I don't have meerkats, unfortunately. What DLC do I need for meerkats? Was like the is it are they is it Africa, the Africa pack, North Africa? I wouldn't mind some meerkats actually. Doctor Eddie Monroe's zoo. I'm just gonna pick up this Africa pack quick. Don't judge me, okay? Is the stuff still all on uh, sale? New content available. Yeah, it is. Planet Zoo is actually 70% off right now. You can pick this game up. You can pick up the uh, Deluxe Edition for £12.89. It's normally £42. Not a hashtag ad, by the way. It's just a really good game. Ultimate Edition is £72, which gives you 17 items. So it's all of the uh, all of the DLCs. Most of the DLC, it looks like, is um, some of it's fifty percent off. The Africa pack is fifty percent off. North American, I, I'm gonna pick up a couple of these actually. I'm gonna grab um, I'll grab Africa. Um, what was that? Planet Zoo? I'll grab uh, Africa and let me also grab uh, North American Animal Pack. I bet you that's good, right? You can put, we can get a moose. One moose. It's three ninety nine for this one as well. You think any of the other ones are worth grabbing? Europe? Wetlands? Oh, wetlands is uh, capybaras, I think. Looks like. Okay, let me grab wetlands as well. Two mooses. There's one with a small otter. Wetlands is really good. Okay, I've got, okay, so I've got wetlands, North America, and Africa. I'll, I'll go with those for now. Just for now, yeah? I've almost got them all. Caddy Boy wants me to pick up the My Butthole DLC? Okay. Caddy Boy. I'm not buying that one. That's gross. I will not. <laughs> Can you get the I do ads for free DLC DLC? No. I I used to uh have that one. I don't have it anymore though. I think um the uh the the people I used to deal with at um Frontier um have moved on. So I don't know anybody there now. But I used to, um, I used to, uh, they used to 
they used to pass me a code for any new DLC that came out as it came out. No, no, they're not dead. They just they le they left. They went to different companies, I think. It happens, you know. It does happen. Okay, Planet Zoo. Um Okay, we've got these new DLCs, so we should be able to add some new stuff. They went to get some cigarettes, yes. They went to they went to pick up a bunch of cigarettes and nobody's seen them since. They never came back. They promised to come back with a whole bunch of cartons of Du Maurier light and Nobody's seen them since. Du Maurier Avantis. Oh. It was Bo, yeah. Bo was the community manager. She left and went to, um, I think, the animals in the zoo will age four times slower than normal. <laughs> yes, I know. I, I said it to that. I don't want them aging so fast. I want some time, you know. Animal trading. Species. So what are we looking for? A couple of cappies. Let's see what these guys need. Alonzo, the capybara. Okay. These guys don't need a lot of space. They need a grade 2 wall as well. Don't forget if you get capybaras that Jardin's wanted one named after himself. Yes. I won't forget this. This I won't forget. Okay. Habitat. We need a grade 2 barrier. So chain link is considered a grade 2. These guys just don't need a lot of space, you know? What's obstructing it? Is there a way to like snap to angles on this or, or not? Not really. Grade two. Okay. Um, construction. Walls. Oops, I didn't mean to make the kissing sound on that. Chipboard walls. Oh. It's not straight at all, is it? We gotta straighten it here. Alright, that looks a bit better. Okay, so we have we do have to connect this barrier up though. But we can make this one invisible because this wall is gonna be here.
Hello? That should work, right? Because there's a wall in the way. Um, and then we just need to possibly make it so that the, uh, the keepers can come in from behind here, too. Just a lovely bit of bolt tightening. <laughs> tightening the bolts. Is it possible to make it so that there's no path here? Oh, it's because it's got to go the other way. You have to do it like on this side, right? I think we can do, um, what is this, concrete? Yeah, concrete. I think this works, you know, somehow. Somehow, some way this will work. I hope so. Uh, it's not quite straight, though. We'll need to straighten this out slightly. That looks straight, right? That looks straight. <laughs> sort of. Oh man. Okay, paths. Staff path. Oh, this path is not going to be straight because uh, the thing might not be straight, right? The door, and that's where it comes off of. So we'd have to make it so that... We'd want to line it up... Um, like this. And then it's straight with the paths. I actually think that that wall at the back is pretty straight. I think it's just uh, the enclosure that is, is kind of hard to get straight, right? It's on a grid. So we'd have to add that like that. And then make this... Um, it's this bit here, right? Edit barrier. And then make it into... 
Oh. That's the one. Okay, and then we just gotta move it back a little. So that it goes in the wall. That's fine. It's like a little, little tiny bit out, right? All right. So the zoo, the the keepers can get there. That's fine. Walk through uh, the middle here if they need to as well. We could uh, we could flatten this terrain out here. Smooth roughen, flatten to terrace, flatten to surface. fine it's fine don't worry i just flatten it out a little tiny bit was it where's flatten to sur flatten the surface here we go oh no oh no look the path is slightly <laughs> oh no Oh, that's fine. Is it? What's it doing? Okay, that's better. Oh, the path's gone all lumpy now. We might have to replace the path, right? To get the uh, the lumps out. What the animal's going in this jail cell? We're gonna put some capybaras in here, but we're gonna we'll do it up so that it looks it looks a little nicer, you know. Okay, we have some more options for barriers. girl as well. Okay. They're on their way. Doo -doo -doo. Tigers? Tiger rocks? Mm -hmm. They made it! Oh my god! Okay, Jardim's? Who wants to be Jardim's um, soulmate in here? Who wants it? Wildo? Okay, you got it. Nice. Oh, they're they're cute. They are cute. Okay, these guys need um, a tiny bit of water to swim in. Only a little, a little tiny bit. They've got more than enough um, space, and they need more soil and more short grass. Okay.
can't believe they need a little bit of swimming sp swimming space. Okay, how does this look for you? Nearly there with the swimming space. Just a tiny bit more. That ought to do it. Okay, just. Um, they need some hard shelter. They need some short grass. And they need uh, some soil as well, right? I said, and a bit of coverage. Oh no, they're good. Soil. Some light soil. They're having a swim. They are swimming. They are swimming. Nice. All right. Let's get a sprinkling of this around here perfect okay so hard shelter what options are there for these guys habitats filters species we want capy capybaras capybaras food and water you can have a underwater plant feeder That might be fun. I don't know how this thing works. And then, of course, they can just drink the water from here, too, right? Wow, look at all the people have come over here already to look. Donate generously, people. We need this. There's a guest spawner here? What the heck? Whoa, look at these. Look at these classic European picnic benches. They're kind of cool. Look, we can get a couple of these things set up for the kids. The kids might enjoy this, right? And then we can also get um, some projection screens. Some of these are humongous. 32. Hey, they're playing with it already. Habitat. Oh, it's an advertising screen. I don't want advertising. I wanted um, education. <laughs> Habitat education board. Oh, wait. Educational content. Capybaras. Look how happy they are already. They're pooping. Oh, they're kind of cute. They're cute. They look like big guy. Uh, they look like big guinea pigs. They got some poops. They got this nice pen that we're working on for them as well. Okay, habitat. 
enrichment items. There's a small barrel feeder here. What about just a small ball for them to play with? And a submarine buoy. He's hitting it. He loves that. He's playing with the ball in there too. It's like it's, like it's bath time. <laughs> Boom. You can get more enrichment just for them if you research. Yeah, I know. We're 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 gonna be researching. Don't worry. Um, Jarm's not in his ideal temperature range apparently. Okay, let's see. Environment. Coverage, terrain. What uh, what temperature range does he need to be in? What's the temperature right now? It's 13 degrees. Should be fine, right? Was it like 5 to 40 or something? That they were okay in? Alright, seems fine now. He's not happy with his habitat. Environmental welfare issues in the habitat. So coverage, we need aquatic tropical grassland. Tropical grassland. Okay, it's... Oh, you can highlight everything here and it'll do it too. That's cool. Alright, let's get a little bit of coverage. Okay, it likes those. What kind of rocks can we get in here? Dynamic mossy rocks. This one's really fruity as well, isn't it? What a big fruity plant. It's rhubarb. Mm, okay, coverage is looking pretty good. Get a couple more rocks like back here, I think, too. these little little plants and stuff in though I think will look good what is this custard apple something 
Some of these uh, these trees and stuff are wild, eh? I don't know. It looks nice though when you when you can fill up the uh, wow giant rhubarb. That's huge. soil in here. Mm. We want some of these. They look kind of cool, don't they? There's, um, there's smaller ones as well, right? Just to sort of dress up the water a little bit. We might not have them as part of the, these biomes, though. Litter. Leaf litter. That's kind of cool. So, oh, there is tomatoes. Look at these tomato vines. We put them in uh, in in Eddie's. Wow. In Eddie's um herb uh, herb garden. Oh, the the herbs. There's a very authentic concrete wall at the back. I know. Well, I mean, it's... Oh, there's a facility that's broken down. It is Chief Beef. Chief Beef. Chief Beef is broken down. I don't mind that there's like a... Uh, that there's a very authentic uh, wall back here. Because look, we can do some um, some stuff, right? With this wall, for example, we can get some props. And... We can put like um, we can make it look like it's like a little area for the keepers to like store stuff, you know. So we can put like a garden hose, for example, a couple of boxes. Maybe like a pot. Some of these things. <laughs> Hey, look, there's like a, tr a classic tree cage here. Just like, just fill it with like a bunch of junk, you know? Just to make it look like it, it's, this is, now this is a proper smoking alley. When, when they, when these guys are ready to take a break, they can get down here and they can smoke like there's no tomorrow. They could just smoke their butts off. Put a pot inside the box. Why not? Look, they got a, a classic, uh, tap pillar there's all sorts of crap back here that you can you can use look a bucket put the bucket like here it's the buckets that they use to like put fish in or whatever you can put one of these on here too and equally you can do the same thing here look you can put like a tap on the wall and you could put a couple of bits and pieces in in the enclosure to make it seem like, you know. See? There's always there's always benefits of having like a wall or whatever, right? Why not? Put this big skip back here. We need a skip. No room for the skip here. Is 
It doesn't quite fit there, but you, but you you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay, some mechanic research is completed. You get watering cans in here too. That's what I'm talking about. What about this covered bridge? Oh, this looks really cool. Look at this. It's like the bridge uh, from Beetlejuice. Is this not fixed yet? Huh. Okay, we gotta get a mechanic out here urgently. This is an urgent appeal for a mechanic. Oh yeah, we need um, places for them to sleep, right? Look at that! He used one of the buckets! Look what they're eating! You know what they they're, they're eating all the all the leftover scraps from um from Eddie's spicy kitchen. Eddie's Eddie's herb garden. See, look, it's all the stuff that they don't use. They bring it in here and they feed them. Excuse me, what are you guys doing? Don't clip through there. Look, everybody's lining up. They want some burgers and they want them bad. Eddie's Spicy Kitchen! Nice. Yeah, this zoo is starting to take off. It's incredible. Okay, habitat. Beds and shelters. Oh yeah, we need to do some vet research, right? Zoo. Vet research. We need to get Al Reese. Researching capybaras would be good. Okay. They want the ticket prices to be raised again to $6. Okay. Sure. Sure, I'll take it. Um, facilities. Let's set up an animal talk point. For the capybaras as well. Be nice. We got all this other stuff for the kids to play with while they're watching these guys. Actually, the uh, the total space for viewing these guys is not huge, but it'll be fine, right? People will just queue up. They're like low impact animals, though, right? You wouldn't get like tons of people wanting to look at them. The cappies are going to be shit and liquid by the end of the day. I hope. I hope that's the case. Okay, I leave you in the capable hands of Jardins and uh, Wudo. I'll be right back. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. See you in a sec. The lives? Yeah, they are. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I have an important alert that requires my attention. Uh oh. Okay. Nice. We got some research done on capybaras and also new barriers. Very nice, very nice. How are, how is uh, this going? Do people seem to be enjoying these things? They can't sleep though, that's the only thing. There's no shelter. I'm back, yeah, look busy everybody, I'm back. I got some tea as well. I know there's probably not a, a, a thing for it, but. Where the poopy go? Where the poopy go? Where the poopy go? What's wrong with these guys? What's wrong? Oh my god. What's wrong with you? They seem fine to me. Animal has severe welfare issues. In his exhibit? Oh, the cleanliness. Okay, you know what? Fine. Let me grab another... How many keepers do we have? Oh, we only have one keeper, that's why. Okay. Let's get another keeper on on this, because it, it, it... This is happening because the other keeper's researching, right? So we'll just get another keeper in. Here we go. 
Just a little scrub. Nice. <laughs> Perfectly clean. <laughs> oh. oh, okay, protesters. Get the heck out of here. We cleaned them up. We cleaned them up. Oh, look at them. I, this enclosure is not so bad, right? It's just like it's a pretty basic one, but we can we can make it a little bit better. At least they've got some food and stuff now. Habitat. Sleep spots. Check out this log shelter. It's kind of nice, no? They do need a full shelter, though. They do need one. There's a metal basic shelter. These are all quite big. Where are all those little ones? The, the little shelters. Or do they not apply to these guys because they're too big? What about a, a jetty... A jetty um, bedding platform? Good thing the guy's holding up that sign. I know. Okay, check this out. I'm going to move this around a little. Um, let's move this to like here. And then look, we can move this here. Let's move this guy over here to let's move this um, here. Whoops, here. Hey, Shrump, thank you so much again for the 10 gift subs. Jesus. Thank you very much, Shrump. I appreciate it. If you got a gift sub from Shrump, make sure that you say thanks. Thank you, Shrump. Okay, we're going to put a little thing here. Archways. Props. <laughs> what if we use this? What if they were able to sleep underneath this dumpster? I bet you you can do it. If you make it like if you hold it open with some sticks. You'd love to sleep in this? Gosh, me too. I bet you you can do it. You want to try? Do you think the animal welfare people will go insane if uh, if I do this? Look, what if we have it like this? Okay, habitat. <laughs> um, what about just a habitat bedding small? You put one here. And then you can have like another one. Like that. It's floating in the air. I think we'd have to move this back slightly, like that. Perfect. Yeah. And then this one too. Just move it like that. Does this actually work? No. It doesn't see this as a hard shelter at all. It's not enough shelter. <laughs> That's a shame. I felt like, you know, we were, we were onto something there, but not, not quite. It's okay, it's okay. Roofs. Well, you got all these, like, fancy roofs now. We got these copper roofs. I don't know if I want a copper roof. I don't mind this corrugated uh, stuff. I think it looks all right. Grid height. See, I think this uh, this one is fine. You can do this, right? You put some metal beam larges in here too.
Who's making that noise? Okay, it's a little bit, um, we need to like, yeah, yeah, okay, that's, that's better. All right, let's put some, um, maybe some rocks and stuff in here just to make it. this one. Plop, plop, plop. Plop, plop. Plop, plop, that's the sound of the rocks. Okay, and then we can just put some, like, um little plants and stuff like little some little leaf debris around here and stuff too right That'd be good do 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 um no align to surface so that we can have this um Perfect. We will align these ones to surface, though. I think this is fine. And this is all underwater eelgrass. Yes. That's too big. <laughs> that is way too big. Hey, he's sleeping under here now. Do 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 soil. Okay, and then habitat, we want some small beddings. What about, no, 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 that's not needed, that's not needed. We got some more enrichment items here though. Or do we? We don't even. Climbable, toys, enrichment. Oh shit, you know what I forgot actually? It's pickaxe week. So we're doing a um we're doing a live Triforce podcast on Thursday at eleven o'clock. Uh we'll be streaming it. Cause it's pickaxe week. You wonder if a if a Cappy can can befriend a seal? Maybe. I don't know, actually. Is that allowed? They got... Oh! They're about to mate! These The cappies are about to mate. They're about to mate. Do 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 do. Okay, I want to get some. Um, where is it? Uh, walls. Walls. We want. 
kind of walls do we want here? If any, if anything, you know what I what I what I would like actually, I would like some more metal beams. poking through no what's wrong Vonda Dingwall can't access a staff room Vonda stop bothering me with these non problems that's not an issue some um oh, maybe we can't put ivy on here we'd have to put like uh, these these things right you're doing great dad what the heck is pickaxe week it's um it's a week where every we celebrate our love for uh pickaxes i think it's a minecraft thing so make sure that you've got your Minecraft accounts uh, ready. Um, get your credit cards ready as well, just in case. You never know if you might need them. And um, and get ready to enjoy Pickaxe Week. That's right. Everybody, it, It's a week where everybody just goes crazy. They let their hair down. Um, they take their pants off. They run around screaming because they love Minecraft so much. Pickaxe is the podcast group. Yes, that's the one. It's the uh, it's like the Yogscast uh, podcast grouping network thing. So all of the all of the Yogscast podcasts come in under it. It's managed through that pickaxe. So you, whatever you know, like um, what was the other one? Um, pod pod pals and pin pals and uh, the one where you you get to think up a game. There's some other ones too, I think. Triforce, um, you know, all those ones. Pal pals, yeah. Pay pals. All, all of them. Anyway, so this week to celebrate uh, pickaxe, we are doing a live one. It's just, uh, it's just uh, to advertise. Some, the podcasts, you know. Uh, you don't have to watch it. Just saying, if you listen to the Triforce and you want to see us do it live, we're doing it live. It might be fun, okay? That's all I'm saying. I, I, I don't mind what we've done here. Actually, it's kind of nice. I want to put, like, some, uh, some leaves and vines and shit on the, uh... On here though to make it look a bit more like you know interesting for the for the cappies long um, I don't know what we can put on the top of the uh, the thing to make it maybe there's uh, some options here like maybe we can just put some leaves in and junk
There's like some of this stuff too, right? Is there like little patches of moss or anything? Not the Wimba tree. Get out of here, Wimba tree. There's like some tangled uh, vines and shit too. We could potentially do something with. Something like this as well. Ah. <laughs> We'd have to have it like this and then like that. Well, that looks kind of cool. I don't know about this green on the top, though. I think maybe just stick with the leaves. This is like some different, it's like some moss. And a scaviola bush. We got all these like different vines and stuff. at them. They love this. They love it here. They're really they're really loving it here. I think we want to stick with the uh, the vines we had before, right? Which is what? These ones? Yes. Yes. I think this is looking great. I think it's actually looking pretty nice. Oh, hang on. You need, they, they need like some space to walk around and stuff. I actually think that looks pretty good. It's not too bad. They're all crammed in next door for a peek. Oh yeah, look at this. They're using this as a, uh, as a spot to, uh, to watch them from. Oh, that's kind of cool. I did, this is kind of unintended. I didn't really mean for them to watch from here. But I guess if it's raining or whatever, they can watch from here. It's neat. Okay, I think that the animal welfare and stuff is fine too, right? They got enough space, yeah, just. And then their plant coverage and everything is good too. 
And then you do need just some open space for them too, right? You don't want it to be like too busy. But I think that's great. I think we can leave that like that for now. It looks fine. The guys on the far side are already breaking through the window. Yeah, I know. It's th this window for some reason. All right, well, look, if this is the case for these guys. If they're going to watch from here, we might as well get some donations too, right? Yes. Donate generously. At least they're throwing all their garbage out. God, that's the worst when they litter, isn't it? It's just the worst. The donation trash cans? Yeah, I think maybe just one would be fine. Oh, no, they're like, they're all the way down here, too, right? Hey, look, it's me. <laughs> it's me. I'm just have, <coughs> really enjoying my time here at uh, Eddie Monroe's really fun zoo. Dr. Eddie Monroe. Okay, vet research done. Nice, nice. Keep up the good work. Holy crap, just like that. Out of nowhere, boom, capybaras. That was pretty easy to get them set up and stuff too, wasn't it? We got so much money now, 233 grand. Crazy. I love our zoo. I, it's not the best looking, but I think it's it, it it's nice. I think we get get a decent layout going. Boom, no problem. What do we want our centerpiece exhibit to be? And also, I would like to do like a safari thing for the lions. I think having like a lion safari would be really awesome. Penguins would be cool too, actually. Yeah, I think I've got penguins. The discount lion safari could be good, yeah. Hey, um, thanks for the raid, Yogs cast. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Welcome, raiders. Who the fuck is Dr. Eddie Monroe? You don't need to know, okay? If you have a medical condition, you might you might be lucky enough to find out who Dr. Eddie Monroe is. But until the, such a such a time, it's none of your business. You don't need to know. The llama enclosure sure is a thing. I know. I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna ch I'm gonna I'm gonna change it. It's not. Uh, I wanted to make like a heavy petting zoo in here, but it's not working out that. What the heck? The llamas have made a baby llama. Look at this. There's a one-year-old baby llama in here pooping everywhere. See, they jump over the fence and everything in here. It's, it's, it's quite an issue. Looks so fluffy. I know. I know, it does look quite fluffy. You're right. You are... You are correctamondo. 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 What, um... How are we gonna get uh, our keepers over here quicker? I guess they don't really... They'll run if they need to, right? What's wrong with you? This is a vendor wandering around. Why are you wandering around back here? There's nothing for you back here. Where are you going to go? Take your break inside the the capybara pen? It's not where you take your break. This isn't the spot. What is she doing? Maybe she's coming here for a smoke break. Yeah, maybe she is. Obviously, they can't model the staff smoking in the game because it's a game for kids, but... You gotta wonder, like, these guys are just back. They probably are smoking. Probably just, like, vaping, like, under their shirt, you know? Like, when you, you go like that and you vape, you blow it into your armpits, and then you just hope that all the, uh, the vape uh, steam dissipates before it comes out of your shirt.
Have you ever done that? <laughs> Have you ever done that before? Okay. I got uh, a couple more things I want to do back here as well. I want to put one of these here. And one of these here too, because why not? It's a shame there's no signs that say... Staff only or whatever. There probably is. Maybe you're gonna unlock the wall signs. Ooh. What's wrong with you? Holy crap. Oh, the temperature is bad. So they need between 13 and 42 degrees. Okay. So we want this to be 20, 25 is fine, right? Okay, good. Can't find an accessible staff room. Okay, they should be comfortable now. It should be a better temperature for them. Put smoking encouraged signs? That's a good idea, actually. I should do that. Um, where do we want to put these llamas? And also, I need to check these barriers, right? See if we got some new ones. So this is a grade six, grade two, grade... Okay, so the grade four steel mesh. Grade four steel mesh is, uh, is what we can put the llamas in, right? Let's make them... Let's make it high, though. So that they can't jump out. I'm going to move the, the llamas over here, chat. I'm actually going to um, copy some of this, too. Uh, actually, I don't need to copy that. I'm going to put the wall back here, though, again. Because uh, I, th I feel like it's, uh, it's, it's not so bad, you know? I want to line it up with this, if possible, too. But, I mean, I can always move it after if I need to. Let's make it like this big. That'll be fine. Gotta move like a bit further in here. That's the one. Is that straight? Oh no, 
this one. That doesn't look flat. <laughs> that does not look flat. Oh, maybe, I don't know, maybe it is. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, it's gone all crazy over here, though. Okay, terrain. Let's try to flatten this. Do this path as well. flattened out too. Okay, I think that's okay. Okay, mechanic research. Ah, okay, that's the last of the barriers. It's good. So aquatic theme, uh, Africa theme, Australia, classic conservation. There's still some more conservation stuff to do. Habitats. Get habitats. Nice. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. All right, and then we want to add um, Oh, I think this is too close to the edge here. Line to grid. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I can't edit this in here. Okay, if I can't get by here, then I'm gonna have to put this door here. Right? Right. Okay, um, let me put this bit here, the concrete bit, and then let me get the barriers door. I'm just trying to straighten it out a little here. 
I think that's fine. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. All right, we want to move. These llamas. Where's the other one? Oh, he's here. Okay, I'm moving the llamas over here. And then we can reclaim some of the space and then we can work on like a centerpiece, you know? Maybe we put the otters, since we started with the otters. Or maybe some some pingus or something like that. Could be cool. Uh, can we call the baby llama creamy? Sure, if you want to, yeah. Where is he? Here he is. Okay, creamy. Creamy it is. Okay, good. Now they can't jump over the uh, the walls and stuff, right? It's good. Llama house? Cappy house? Dude, don't panic. <laughs> Poor llamas. <laughs> what an enclosure. Oh, good. move their enrichment box in here and also their enrichment ball look the baby wants to play with the box he's gonna peck it peck 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 all right these guys need some short grass, some long grass, and far less soil. Okay. Perfect. And their coverage so we don't we want to remove all the filters and then put all these I love that you can just click on this for the filters it's so good isn't it That's like a, 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 a more recent uh, fix, isn't it? Being able to do that. Hey, look! 
look, they had a baby. They had two babies. <laughs> look at these two babies. Man, look, they know how to swim already. That's great. There's a bunch of caribou moss here. It's a big monkey puzzle tree. Maybe a little too big? I don't know. It is, it is quite big. Uh, this one's maybe a bit smaller. Uh, no, it's the same. <laughs> it's huge. Ah, that's a little bit better. He just spit on someone. Spitting again. Don't dehydrate yourself. Remember what happened last time? Remember what happened last time? Caribou moss looks um, a bit washed out. It's quite, quite, um, it's quite bright in here now, right? Because it's because all the grass and stuff. I think this one's dead. No, just sleeping. Sleeping in shit. Okay, we want species. Llamas. Coolers, heaters, beds and shelters. Enrichment. Should we put a rubbing pillar in for them? What's this? A scratching tree. Oh, that's cool. Does this stuff all work? Is he doing it? <laughs> Thinking about it. Oh shit, what happened here? Oh, it made, that thing made a, like a hole. Okay, maybe we'll not use the other one. There's a, a grazing ball feeder here. Sure. And what's this? Uh, this is just a grab ball. They got so many toys in here. I don't know if they'll use use the toys or not. Um, terrain, grass short. 
Don't want the grass clipping through these things. Okay, so how are they for their terrain and stuff? Sand, rock, soil. We can put a little bit of soil back in now. I just want to put a little bit around the edge. Just because it... If it's just all the same color, it, it, it looks a bit weird sometimes, doesn't it? You want to get, like, a, just a bit of soil underneath where you got, like, the green bits, right? Because then it just makes it look a little bit better. Because naturally, grass wouldn't grow so much where all that stuff is. There. That looks alright, I think. Don't want too much because we don't want to get uh, the welfare penalty, right? Okay, good. Tell that to your garden. <laughs> yeah, I know. Tell that to mine as well. Holy shit. Garden is a disaster right now. It looks so bad. Put that there. Okay, we need um, a place for them to sleep now as well, right? Llama house? Uh, we can go for uh, a similar sort of thing that we had there, but maybe use like some different uh, different materials. We don't need to use that the corrugated. We could use this the corrugated plastic, maybe, instead? This is limestone, metal clad, maybe? It would have to be this one. Hmm. I think we'll just use uh, Beam's structural props. They're straight. Yeah. Do 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 do
It, this sounds like a, a, a guy uh, making that sound. I guess it would have had to have been, though, right? Uh, unless they recorded actual llama sounds. But it feels like it was just... Uh, it was just Reggie. Reggie did it. Does it not? Wall decorations? I've gone full trellis. Uh oh. It's going to stick out a tiny, tiny bit. Ah, what can you do, eh? It's going to happen sometimes. Okay. Let's get, um,. Walls. Oh, look at this. What's this one? Two meters? We want the one meter, I think. I don't even know how to put this under here. How do you line this up? Let's try like this. Oh. Oh yeah, that's the it's got the base on it already. Right? We might have to do... Oops. Oh, it's like slightly raised. There's no, nothing requires my attention as such right now, I don't think. Soil light, yep. Okay, and habitat, sleeping.
sure. All right, and then <laughs> nature, plants. I don't think there's any like vines or anything like that for this one, right? Oh, look, they're sleeping. I don't think there's any allowable vines, but there are tomato vines we could put in if we wanted to. I don't know if I necessarily want to. I don't know if I like those. I'll just take them out. Sometimes you put something down and you just think, uh, it just looks like I'm just trying to put one of everything. You know what I mean? It's it's no good. Gosh, these are huge. Oh my god. I wish this one had uh, allowable uh, leaf uh, leaf debris would be nice. It looks nice on the ground, I find. Okay, I think this looks a lot better for the llamas, right? And they seem happy. Yep. They don't want too much coverage. They need a lot of open space. So we're almost at the limit of coverage, but I think it's fine. No, they don't need uh, they don't need like a uh, natural water. They just have a, a trough that they can drink it drink out of. Guests are littering again. Oh, you're right. They are. Holy crap. This just simply won't do. No music. Create a new work zone. Cannot throw food to suitable ground. You just chuck it over the fence. Animal talk. Okay, people are looking at our animals. This is good. This is really good. You think Creamy is so cute? A 25% scenery rating? Where? On this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is a low scenery rating, isn't it? Shit. Well, I guess it's better than 0%, right? Or is it? Or is it? Not enough rocks. No, I think it's that we have enough rocks, actually. We don't want too many rocks. The enclosures themselves, you can't... you got to balance them out, right? Where is the stolen luggage stored? Back here, with all this junk. It's a smoking alley for the employees. This is where they can come back and let off some steam. They can smoke and then they can kick some of these old pieces of junk. Look, there's some buckets here for them and stuff. 
really nice. Okay. Um, construction. Go in here. Props. I love that. I love that. I love... Maybe they can come over here and knock some of this crap over. They probably won't, though, right? I love all these smoking areas. Is there anything else that we can put in here? No. Nope. Oh, look. <laughs> What's he doing? He's fixing the fence. Oh yeah, look, it's in a, it's in a real state. Look, holy crap. What are these people doing to it? What have they been doing to it? He's spitting again. He's done it. He's spitting again. Okay, I think Llama House is looking pretty good. Again, we can't really put any um, ivy or anything on here because it's... Uh, ooh. Habitats. Ticket prices, tickets are underpriced still. Seven bucks for adults, three bucks for kids. Our education rating is starting to uh, rise. It's pretty good. here we're gonna have oh we'll have this <laughs> I know I said I didn't want to do a grid but uh, I'm kind of doing a grid now it's just the way it's just the way she goes you know I feel like we can get some more small enclosures in here, right? Some little tiny ones. And then uh, and then we can have like a big uh we can have a big one in here and try to line this up uh a bit better too. So you come in here. We can have like a we can maybe we can do the otters, but then have like a nice seating area for like the otter talks and stuff. Mm -hmm. 
What's wrong with Wuldo? Oh my god. Temperature. Where is this temperature thing? Should be under here, right? Oh, he seems fine now. Maybe it's just when he goes in the water. Maybe though it's just the water that's cold. Oh, look at them! Look at them! They're all eating together as a family! Really nice. Look at those. There's all this space back here that we can't use because it's outside of the uh, the, the the bounds. You need a water heater as well. Is that actually a thing? No, it's not even a thing. It's just a cooler and a heater. And facilities. Animal. Oh, look at these. Oh, man. Look at this thing. That looks so cool. I love that. And this one, too. Look at this. Oh, that's better. We could definitely do some something like that, right? We should have... Um, we should have quite a few of these things available to trade. Lots of axolotls. Sure, let's get some leaf bucks. You never know, right? Sloths in a walkthrough exhibit. Can you actually do that? Can you actually put uh, a do a walkthrough for sloths? We could do a walkthrough for tortoises. We know this is possible. Hum. The tropical DLCs for uh, for sloths. got high amounts of litter oh yeah we we do need to get just some bins in here I think Oh, I think there's some, uh, some, like, terrain shitty, shittiness happening here. Alright, let's try like that. Uh, 
da, da, da. Game, go home. Go home, game. Oh my god. Yeah, that's kind of cool, actually. Look at that. You just gotta try to get the exact same thing. Not quite. <laughs> it's close. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty close. At least it's a it's a it's a more interesting shape than just a square. Am I, am I making a clown face again? I might be. Yes. I might be making a clown face again. Not intentionally, though. Now and fill it with fill it with rocks, man. Your wish is my command. I will do it. <laughs> An homage to Mr. Saturday Night. Nature. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice too, actually. I like that. Thank you. 
These are quite nice too, aren't they? These little bushes. I love this zoo you're making it's a beaut. But goddamn the stench from the animals is something else I can barely stand it. Oh wait, those are your farts. That's, well, okay. The thing is, my diet has not been the greatest recently. I, I admit this. It could be better. It's something I'm working on. I'm hoping not to be so farty in the future. <laughs> Fart, fart. I can't stop farting all the time. Whoa. They're huge. I don't know if we want those. White sage is kinda kinda okay as well. We need something smaller in here, I think. Do, 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 do. That's way too big. Uh, there's a bunch of like ivy spread here, which is kind of, kind of nice sometimes. Let's get some more big boys in here. Hey, I'm visiting my own zoo again. It's me. It's me, the zoo visitor. I love this leaf debris. It looks so good. It just looks nice and natural, you know? It's like around the rocks and stuff. It looks really good. here we can have um not gardening we want uh construction uh center pieces we got all sorts of um statues and stuff that we can put in here right we can put a nice a nice statue in here
Yes. What about like a little uh, a dodo? No. No, no dodo. A no dodo. There's not like any birds or anything. Some birds would be good. There's uh, some aquatic sculptures of um, seals and stuff. This is like a big gorilla. There's the... Um, I'm using them there, though. I don't want too many. Oh, there's planters and stuff too, but we don't really want planters. We want to go au naturel here, right? Alright, terrain, painting. Put some soil light. Disregard the previous donation, your stench is my king. Oh no. Oh no, all this stuff has been added in uh, independently of the scene. Hey, um, thank you so much, um, Shromp. Thank you so much for the 20. And thanks for the other 20 as well. So I've, I didn't thank you before. Sorry, I'm, I'm so lost in uh, in placing doodads. Shrump, thanks for the 20 and the 20. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Those are huge ones. Thank you very much, Shrump. And thanks for all the gift subs as well. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. We got to set up... Um, we got to set up a, some sort of Shrump... Trump Memorial. Hey, he's doing a... He's doing the Capybara talk. And people are loving it. No. I need um I need like some grassy grassy ass Beef. Oh, it's because I've been gardening, that's why. Yep. I think that looks fine. And we just want something uh, for to to set to get the scenery rating up a little bit, right? No, well, not just that though. Just to make it look a little bit uh, nicer too. 
Um, let's get some conservation benches in here, too. Look at this. They're coming over to sit down already. Hopefully, they're going to use the trash cans as well. Very nice. They have a nice place to sit down and enjoy themselves while they're... Look, let's get some benches in here, too. That'll look good. That's nice. That's good. I like this. It's just a simple, but it... it but it's simple, but it works, you know? Because you need, you need places for people to sit and throw out their garbage, right? The kids are, are going to want to climb all over. You're right. They are going to love climbing on that. We need to feed our um, Captain Barris. Oh, look. He's coming to feed them right now. You want to see this happen? All right. Watch this. I'm just going to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Right, I'm back. <laughs> I had to do some uh, IRL zookeeping um, for my, uh, my guinea pigs. I had to put them outside. It's a nice day. So they're out there. They're out there living it up. They are living it up. Habitat cleanliness is it? This is Habitat 6. All right, this is llama enclosure. And this one is enclo enclosure. This one is apparently quite dirty. We might need some more keepers. Do keepers keepers clean uh, the place as well, right? Clean the places? Okay. For now, it's probably fine. Although. Yeah, I think with the, there's got to be some uh, water heaters, right? Water temperature regulator. Oh my god, man. The heck am I going to put this thing? i got to put it back here somewhere and p people are going to lose their minds because they don't want to look at this. <laughs> Sandbox. Uh, animal settings. Where's the temperature thing? <laughs> uh, food spoiling, hard shelter. Oh my god, you can actually take animal temperature need. Okay. It's fine, right? I don't want to build those facilities. So what? Ah, yeah, it's fine now. Look, see? Temperature, just 100%. It's fine. Then I need no heater. Yeah, I know. I don't need this one here either, right? I can't uh, actually... Ah, oh, there it is. I just saved myself 50 bucks. For that one little hack. Not bad. Planet Zoo with none of the zoo stuff? No, I know. I just want to build buildings. <laughs> I don't want to manage temperatures for animals. Maybe some people out there want to do that. It ain't me. I just want to make scenery. More new animals if I add it? Uh, we added um, capybaras this morning. These guys here. And we moved the llamas over here too. One of them I think might be dead. Two. Oh no, they sleep. They do sleep. 
This one is uh, sleeping with his head. Oh, look what happened to the terrain over here. This one cannot breathe. Struggling to breathe there. No, I don't like detecting ass temps at all. It's not 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 the uh, the journey that I wish to go on. You know, do you think this path is going to be too narrow to down here? I was thinking of maybe putting some uh, some like exhibits down here, but do you think it might get a bit too uh, too busy? can remove this path but it like it completely it messes it all up oh it's because this is not on on the grid right So if we want to move this over, oh, it tries to put a path when it's t two away as well, but not that side. can't uh is it because it's trying to do the length two oh, i think it's because the um the size is different on both sides right We make it a little bit bigger. We could fit it. Um, Why well, is this trying to place it like. Uh, I guess it has to, right? It needs. Uh, should be able to move this though without it going. Or does it have to be on the on the on the grid? in group seven. Oh, it's so weird. It wants path like right next to it, right?
I want to put it there, but I, I don't want it to place these uh, paths on it. I want it to be without path to start with. I don't know if I can do it. Auto stacking. Grid height. Select grid. Because see, if I, if I place this down and I delete those paths, it, the curb won't uh, work, right? If I exit group edit mode, it'll get rid of the... Oh, that's better. It's still trying to add paths, though. hate what it's trying to do. I wish I could place it without the paths. Unless I just put it right in the corner. I don't know, it's still. Is there not even a way that you can just say I don't want it to go to like the back of it? It just tries to get every side. It does need the the in it does need a path for the plebs to get to, but I I wanted to add it myself. I don't want it to add it because the problem is when it adds it itself, I try to delete it. It removes the curbs as well, and then it's hard to add the curbs back on. I don't even know if we really need these things anymore. We could just get rid of them. Oh, thank you. Yeah. yeah, I know. <laughs> didn't even, uh, I didn't even let the spot cool down. Oh, just, <laughs> just put more crap there. Thank you. Yeah, they, well, they were getting wet, so I... Uh, thank you. Hey, uh, Brando, thanks for the 690. Sorry I missed it. Sips, I'm from Australia. Appreciate falling asleep to a stream like this. I love the Triforce as well. Thank you so much, Brando. And Shromp, thanks for the 20 again. While Sips is gone, we can all be nice to each other and chat. Go wild. People riot. Did you guys go wild while I was gone? I hope not. Put some barriers where you don't want the auto paths. Oh, barriers. I guess I could. Our um, our axolotl is is thirsty, even though. He, look at all the water. How much water does he need? He's full of water. Chat went wild? Okay. It's not what you want to hear when you come back after going for a, a pee break. But what can you do? Oh, one thing we do need to do is add some uh, media stuff for, um, for these guys too, right? Not water. Some llama boards? Look at that. Mer Lama Glama. Lama Glama. Okay, there's a keeper assigned here, but not uh not cleaning. This keeper is not cleaning. Terrain.
I'm pushing. Oops. You're doing great, Dad. The bow of this path placing Sim 3000. Let's plop some effing rocks. Hey, I've plopped I've plopped many rocks today, okay? The the plopping has occurred. You can only plop so many rocks. Don't plop till you get enough. It needs a retaining wall? I know, I don't think you can get one. Um, and sadly as well, just the path was working back. Oh, maybe. What's in the way now? Oh. <laughs> oh, it's a mess. <clears throat> that makes me think, though, that maybe we can... ...do this. That's better. Yeah, you can't complain with that. It's fine. It works, right? It does the job? Does the trick? I've built worse than true. <laughs> Fuck, I mean, jeez, you're not wrong. I have built far worse than that. I've built some, some stinkers in my time. That's absolutely true. Okay, construction. Um, right on the edge <laughs> we're forever gonna just have this like uh, solid uh, wall here that we can't really do anything with I don't know if we can decorate it in any way or whatever but fine what can you do okay This is actually even nicer. It goes a bit better with what we've got here. What's this, Australia? I need to move this uh, out here so I can work on it. Let's 
quite steep, isn't it? Which one is this? This is the four meter. Australia. Oh, oh. What bit do we need here? This one. these entrance ways maybe we can do like a half and half and we do like a trim and then there's like some wood at the top but I think if we're gonna do wood let's make it uh, like dark wood Oh, there's like purple wood now too. We can just do like some little, uh, some little trims. Custom signs, species signs, standing signs, wall signs. We don't need, um, we don't need, um, anything for, uh, whatchamacallit. Right, um, toilets for staff. <laughs> I tried, I tried. This just it take it took a little while. Ap apologies. I tried to get there. Uh, what is it in props? No, it wasn't props. It was in wall decorations. I'm sure it was. There's like all this like cladding and stuff. There's tons of stuff. That's really big. Maybe too big. This is the trim I think that we just used.
I think sometimes they uh, the staff rooms have their own windows and stuff, right? We'll put them in in a second. See, um, actually, we could just put a new one in and <coughs> just not um, hook it up to anything. So facilities, uh, staff facilities, keeper hut. Aha, okay, the pat that pathing worked um, better that time. Okay. okay, and then we want facilities, staff, we want the staff room. Oh, that's right, it's at the back. So you can put, um, what's this, breeze block? You can change the, uh, the color and stuff on, on this too, I think. Yeah. Try to get it like matching with. Uh, it's like something like that, right? That's kind of cool. I think the uh, I think the keeper uh, thing has its own too, right? It's got a little window at the back as well. And then we could just put a pillar or something in here. Oh, this is base trim. Oh, the base trim's kind of nice. You could make it, like, just pop out a little bit more, you know? Yeah, I like that a lot, actually. It's really nice. Do it all the way around and then we just need like a pillar here as well this is a tr trim corner oh the trim corner is really good too look although the corner we have now is is fine but look it's just like a block so that you could if you wanted to that's good okay walls we want uh columns Oh, I see. It's tried to put it on the. Uh, it's aligned it to the, uh, to the surface, right? That's fine. Mm -hmm. Lights. What's a good light? Uh, what's like a, a nice uh, flat 
ceiling light. I don't know if they even have them. Lamp posts, hanging lights. Decorative lighting? That works. We can move it back a little. Let's see what it looks like at night. Yeah, neat. Wow, look at all the windows you can have now. It's great. are the these bits I think the the terrain is like a little bit uneven here so it's making the stuff not uh, yeah that's fine okay We'll line it up against the actual house. Yeah, this is good. Oop. Oh, it's not the same height. You'll never notice it. Just pretend that I didn't even say anything, okay? I didn't say a word. I didn't say one single word. Um, this will be tough, though, because I... We might have to use some of these. I think that's fine. Um, so then we'll have path going to here. Um, is there anything else? Uh, any like any other like trims or anything that we want to do? We could maybe put like um, like a wooden uh, corner might be nice. color these ones I don't think I think if you have it there you have to have it here right a little bit crazy I I think actually we want to um, we want to use the same one right around I think it'll look better with the, this color anyway
Do you think we need one like here too? I don't hate that. I think it actually looks okay. I just don't think we're gonna have a thing small enough to. What's this one? This is conservation blind slat two meters. The one, the one meter is quite big. Four, two, and one. So I think we'd have to use like this. And then maybe do the, uh, I think that looks Okay, we just won't do the uh, the side there because <laughs> I don't have a I don't have a bit small enough to do it. That's okay though. That's fine. All right, so we want to move this to the back. Too, right? Alright, sure. And then we can have um, one in the middle here too, right? So that it looks framed. Okay, good. All right, and uh, also let's uh, let's put like some. Okay, um, check this out. You ready? Let's put on some some ivy. It'd be good to get a little bit of ivy like on the on the roof and stuff, right? have like a little bit hanging off the roof too. Cuz we'll try to we'll try to put this in the uh on the back there, right? And try to hide it a little bit from people.
Is there a hanging plant pot you can put under the overhang? Yes, there is. There's hanging plant pots. You can put them. It can, it can happen. It could happen to you. It could happen to me and it could happen to you too. some space to put some other stuff here if we really want it, but we don't really need to. Hey, Shrump, uh, thanks for the eight gift subs. Shrump, thank you so much, man. Holy crap. You're going crazy. Thank you. Thank you for all the gift subs and all the donations as well. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, okay, I think for the building, this is fine. We're gonna put this in the uh, in the corner here. This is um, um, I don't know. Facility one. <laughs> Facility one. Is the hello? Okay. Is the path all messed up? Oh, I see. You go do it like this. It's like a bit uneven, somehow. Ah, that's fine. I can live with that, right? Thing is, we can just edit this. Just drop this down a little. It's like a little bit of clipping, but it's not the end of the world, right? Um, right. We can add some more uh, nature to the side of this, too. we have any signs for some of the animals we have. I don't think there's any llama signs or capybara signs. What about like just a bunch of snails? Or this cool alligator? We do have a moose. <laughs> we have we do have a moose. There's Australian road signs. There are some penguins, some penguin signs. 
facility signs. Shop signs, custom signs. There's art shapes and stuff too. Special effects, props. Oh, look who it is. What's happening in there? You did a nice flower. Oh my god. Somebody's got. Whoa. Somebody's in. I guess they can't find a staff room, so they just go uh, to use that one instead. But that's fine. I mean, that's what it's there for, right? Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, never fear. <laughs> I'm gonna hide this this evidence. The the evidence that I messed up on all the uh on all the uh the heights and stuff. It's fine, look. You'd never know now. Shit, you might know on this side, though. There, it's like the perfect crime. Nobody must know what happened here on this day. Alright, we can get some trees and stuff in here, which would be nice. Can't uh, we can't let the uh, plants and trees leak into this habitat, right? So you got to make sure that everything stays on this side.
Oops. We need some this side too. Let's try to get uh, not this tree. Although, no, let's not. And um, we need some. Um, these are okay. What are the other ones? Aster medium. I don't think we need like a, a tremendous amount here. So we got a break room close by to these and then we got a uh, keeper hut as well. So hopefully they'll be able to keep on top of these two pens, right? Oh, that that's all done. Uh, more drink shops, conservation theme, we could finish it off. Food shops, East Asia, North Africa. North Africa might be good, South America. It's more staff facilities, apparently. Try to finish those off, too. Pine trees famously have lots of leaves. Yeah, I know. Um, if you've ever had a... Um, if you've ever had a Christmas tree, a real Christmas tree before... Oh... They're not leaves, they're needles, but fuck me, there's tons of them. They go all over your damn floor. Oh, it's the worst. Oh, it's such a mess. It's such a huge mess. How's everybody doing here? Good? Look at this guy prancing around. These guys are enjoying their lives as well, look. They're swimming. <laughs> Just having a little swim. It's nice. <clears throat> water my tree. Yeah, I know. I, I know it needs water, and we do water it, but still. The needles, they go everywhere. Still, the needles go everywhere. I think this is shaping up kind of nicely here. Okay, we're going to do... We want to do, like, a, a big centerpiece here. How, um... How is this affected now with temperature, water, power, buildings? Oh. Oh, no. They seem happy with these buildings. That can't be right. Negative impact on guests. Okay. So, because we've put these buildings inside some scenery the impact is less, right? When they're just out on their own, the impact is more. So we could hide these inside big clumps of scenery and, and the impact won't be as bad, right? That's good to know. You can just sort of put it at the back. Okay, good. Great to know. Uh, we're going to need some more facilities for sure. Jersey has a zoo, yeah. Yeah, it's an it's it's not a, it's a small zoo, but it's um it's a nice one. It's uh it's it's more like of a conservation trust kind of thing, you know. But it rebranded to uh, to a zoo because um, I think people were put off by the fact that they were so um, conservation-centric. You know, people thought it would be boring. So when they renamed it to, to zoo and made the marketing uh, leaflets a, a lot lighter, I think it, it reminded people that there's like a, a decent zoo with lots to see and do at it sort of thing. 
<clears throat> Come see the seagulls. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, there's a, there's, they've got some uh, gorillas. They got some orangutans. Um, they got meerkats. They got some. Uh, they got some bears. A couple of bears. They got some otters as well. What else do they have? They got some huge tortoises. Actually, they they started off with some big Galapagos tortoises, and uh, and then they inherited a couple more from Bristol Zoo, because Bristol Zoo um, changed over to the wild place. I don't, you might not be familiar with it, but. Um, it, uh, I, I, for whatever reason, they sent, sent some big tortoises over. So now there's even more tortoises. Actually, the tortoise enclosure at, at Jersey Zoo is fantastic. It's a, um, it's like a really hot, steamy butterfly enclosure. And then it's got the, uh, it's got the tortoises in there as well. It's really hot and steamy in there, yeah. Very, very steamy. Very hot. Hey, listen, I don't have to do the school run today, but I do have to leave a bit earlier than I normally would. So it'll it'll work out the same. It just means I don't need to leave at 3 to do the school run. I'll just have to leave at about, like, uh, quarter to 5. Finish at, like, quarter to 5. But uh, I'll probably be around tonight to do some uh, party animals or some chainsaws or some, some sort of, like, group stuff. I'll be around later tonight. But we still have a couple hours. We could finish some more stuff. We need to move these otters, but... We need to move these otters, and then we got to figure out what we're going to do. We're going to make... I think we're going to make, like, a big spot for the otters. Or, if we're going to have a big spot... The otters don't really need a huge spot, right? But we could make them a big spot. But they're not huge animals, right? They're not uh they're not the biggest animals. Paths. Let's line these ones up, I think. Mm -hmm. We gotta figure where we're gonna put these uh we're gonna where we're gonna put these exhibits as well, right? Make a cobra pit? <laughs> I don't want to make an a cobra. I don't want to make a cobra pit. I want to. Wait, do I have meerkats? Chat, do I have meerkats? I should now, right? Oh. <gasps> Where are they? No, there's not on here. I don't think. don't need a lot of space. They just need a grade 2 enclosure as well. Okay. In terms of, like, viewing stuff, though, where are those, like, little viewing domes? I want to put one in for the meerkats. They have one at Jersey Zoo. It's fantastic. Where, does, where do those come into? Gates? Oh, here. Viewing dome entrance. How does this, how does the viewing dome work? You put an entrance and then they just, you don't have to do the pathing and stuff, they just appear? It's like a big hat. Yeah, but where are they? Viewing dome entrance. It's part of the habitat fence.
here it is. Viewing dome. So you you link this to the to the viewing dome entrance? does not want to now it doesn't want to place any paths oh no what's happened here <laughs> sure let's put them there for now oh man Oh my god. How do you uh how do you combine this together without using the uh oh my lord. It's not perfect, but it'll do. Oh my god. Okay, let's see about getting uh, barriers. Oh, I see. It's like part of the actual uh, enclosure. So what did it need? A grade 2? Which is just a chain link fence. ourselves. Okay. 
No. Chain link fence. Try to like straighten this up a little. Still seems a little bit uh, not straight. Oh, it's so hard to get. Uh, the enclosure's straight, isn't it? Alright, so we're gonna put, uh, so when you go in here, habitat required, it doesn't give you the, uh... <laughs> does it, does it just hook up? Place dome entrance. This is not considered a habitat at the moment because uh, we need um, an entrance, right? A keeper entrance? There. Viewing dome. Poopy go. Where? Who? What's wrong with him? I think he's stuck. He's stuck. Where'd the poopy go? He got stuck. What a rascal. Okay, we're gonna get, um... Oh, we can only get meerkats with uh, leaf bucks at the moment. We might need some more, like, uh... Don't protest here! Near the nice park! Oh, they're leaving. Okay, good. Staff facilities all done. Oh, transport rides. Yeah. Oh, they are small. Okay, who wants to be a meerkat? It's dwell, you're in. There's another one coming as well. Whoop. Gino, 
you're in. Okay. Digging a hole. Terrain? Needs a hard shelter? Wants more sand. Sand, for sure. Um, and also wants uh, Africa. Perfect. Needs a, a, some plants. We need rocks in here, for sure, right? And what was the other thing we needed? Soil. Bit of grass. Rock. But they, she wants sand. They're in! Oh, nice! Look at this! Woo! You get really... <laughs> Look at their faces! They love that! Oh my god, I can see them! It's like I'm living with them! Oh, that's hilarious. Where'd the poopy go? Where'd the poopy go? Okay, great. What, uh, what kind of plants can we put in here? Need, like, dry stuff. Don't don't suck up the actual meerkats. You might want like a tiny bit of shade. Gotta make sure that the coverage doesn't go too high, though. Oh, look, you can even put the, um... You could make a, uh, a hedge maze for them. I wonder if you could make a hedge fund for them to manage. That might be fun. Yeah, no, I did. I already disabled the uh, water needs in the options. Uh, well, sorry, the water temperature needs in the options. I disabled them already. Not the actual water needs, but the temperature needs I did. Do I want any of this stuff? No. I 
I don't think we can put leaves in this one. It makes sense, right? It's meant to be like more of a like a desert sort of. This dry grass looks kind of cool though. Oh, the coverage is too high though now. We got to get rid of some of this. Coverage is 44%. I think it was this, this one that tipped it over the... Oh, no. It was way before that. Maybe it's this stuff here, too. They all have a different, uh, like, weight to them as well, right? Hey, look, they make lo tons of little holes. <laughs> it's cute. Forty percent. I have to take this thing out. I think. No, still not. Jesus Christ. That's gonna look really sparse in here. Oh, that thing was that that thing was accounting for so much. It's insane. Okay, we probably just put some little tiny bushes in now. So I don't think these things count for an awful lot. That's fine. I think that's I think that's fine. Some large grass here too. We can maybe put in the corner. Yeah, it doesn't push it up too much. We we could probably get away with putting quite a bit of grass in here. Maybe not elephant grass. And then one big tree, <coughs> one, one large meerkat tree. <laughs> All right, perfect. We need some hard shelter for them as well. Um, and we also want to get the, um, vet research going for these two, right? Habitat, species, meerkat. We can do a small animal burrow. That's cool. Do you like this? Yeah, hard shelter, 100%. Oh, that's great. Look, it looks pretty nice, too. It's just, uh, you know, a little hole for them to hide in. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, I like that. I like the little uh, burrow. Hopefully, uh, maybe we can build uh, another one, too. And then in the morning when they wake up, you can see them come out. I think this is too big, right? I think they just need a, a small bowl of water.
and then maybe also um, a really small food tray. Where the poopy go? <laughs> Feeding stations? Enrichment items? Water jet? A water jet rock? A sprinkler and a bubble machine? We'll research some more stuff for them. Okay, uh, nature, rocks. I think we need some more um, mechanics. Creamy the llama is about to mature, by the way. Holy crap, they are loving the viewing globe. You can get right in here and see. <laughs> oh, they're kind of cute. They are cute. The mirror. <laughs> look at this one. Huh? Yeah, look. You're not even looking at him. It's quite a big enclosure for meerkats, actually. They're pretty small. I just want to put a couple more rocks around. Nothing major. <laughs> Ticket prices are underpriced still. Eight dollars for an adult and three dollars for one child. Okay, I've done it. Well, oh, look at all these people are loving this. Let's make sure that we're getting some donations. <laughs> Run, you fools! Oh, they're really cute! Look at them! They do that thing where they stand up on their on their back legs, right? And they look... Maybe these ones, not so much. Why is the fence full of holes? We're waiting for uh, a mechanic, I think, to come by and fix it. We probably need to get a, uh, a mechanic uh, hut over here, too. It's probably got a bit of a distance to walk. There, I've urgently assigned one to come and fix this. See? Oh, he was on his way anyway, look. He's just struggling to get here. There's too, there's too many people. Oh, look at this guy's hair. 
What a do. There, look, he's fixing it now. All those holes will be gone in a second. There's a couple more takers for the dome. Is there enough staff for this dude? No, probably not. I probably need to get some more uh, staff realistically, but... are these? Oh, that's these ones here, right? Uh, like long one here. If anything uh, leaks into the into the habitat, it's fine because these are all allowed plants for this habitat, so it's not a problem. huge. Look at the size of this thing. Yeah, I think this is fine. We can uh, we can just uh, decorate these bits and then it'll they're not it's not actually affecting inside the enclosure. Oh, look at what they're eating. Pushes inside so that nobody even accidentally accidentally sees the animals. God, that's a good idea too. I do love signs and other scenery. This is a uh, meerkat gardens. All right, we might need to get another keeper. Tickets are still underpriced. 
Okay, I'm gonna make them nine bucks then. Sure, I don't mind. It's more money, right? New animals? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of new animals. We got a we got a couple of the DLCs, which is uh, which has been good. There's uh, a bunch that we hadn't uh, seen yet because I haven't played this in years. Holy crap! That's a big rock. That's a big bush. We need like some little, uh, not this, not that's too big. Me, ah, uh, these ones, these little tufty ones, they're good. about like uh oh yeah you know what i mean no what about a ball of leaves no meerkat gardens uh, this is looking good we'll do the same around uh the rest of the edge and stuff as well just to make it look a bit more um you know Maybe it'll fit in a little bit better. Put some flowers in? <laughs> what, in this one? In this side? There's a couple of little ones. We don't need, like, loads of flowers. You put, put some of these bad boys in, though. They're nice. Make it pop a little. What about a hawthorn bush? You can make it so that it looks like um, you're going into a cave. The rocks here. Problem is though, is that if you do this, see, look, it'll it'll like go right through. So you'd have to use like the flat ones, but then it'll look a bit uh, weird, I think. Uh, but actually, you haven't said that. You could disguise this and make it just look like it's made of rocks. If you wanted to. I think it'll look a bit creepy though. can go down a little bit more too. I mean, if it's just a case of moving this, I just put it here. I don't mind. I 
there's nothing really clipping through here at the moment. It's probably not so bad. Put that there. And then we can um, just put a couple more rocks in here just to hide these structural bits. <laughs> and then we could put like, um, I don't think there's any vines in here because of the thing that we got, but we could, since it's on the outside of the enclosure, if we wanted to put some creepy vines. Whoa. Where did all these go? Oh, did I not, um... Fuck. Where'd they go? It's a cave. That's neat. I like that. I'm all right with that. I think it looks kind of cool. No? You can even put some, like, uh, grass on the top. And then just get some bits and pieces of grass in here, too. I don't know if this counts towards uh, this, though. Is he pissed? No, the coverage is just perfect. Oh my god. Check the meerkat escape routes? No, 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 no. no. They're not getting out of here. Don't you worry about that. We just got to make sure that not not uh, not much more bleeds like into the into the pen in terms of like plant stuff, because they'll get pissed otherwise, right? Um, wait, how are they looking for, okay, they have no enrichment, so sand, rock, they can have a bit of grass. Actually, no. Soil. So a little bit of, of grass here and there. Maybe some, a little pinch of long grass here and there as well. With a tiny bit of rock. Rock smooth. I think it finishes it off nice. You put coarse sand in, too. And uh, I think it's alright. I think they're, they're, the meerkats are happy with that. Holy shit. A lot of people are coming down here to see the meerkats. Do you know you're happy with that? Okay. Yeah, we might need a wider path in the end. We'll see.
How do we get the curb right here? Like that? It's probably okay. Yes. All right. Saving? Enjoy the uh, enjoy the meerkats. I'll be right back. I'm just gonna go grab a uh, sandwich real quick. I'll be right back and uh, we'll carry on. Okay. See you in a sec. I'm back from getting my sandwich. How's it looking? Did any uh, did any of the meerkats uh, do any uh, fricking and make more? Ooh, transport rides. We'll carry on with that. Vet research. Nice, nice. We might get some enrichment stuff for the meerkats. <laughs> I love the viewing dome. It's so good, isn't it? Right. Habitat, meerkat, uh, enrichment items. They have a termite mound. Oh, this is cool. Let's put that in there and see if they like it. I, I, I don't know. Would a meerkat like a sprinkler? Probably not. No, I didn't get tea, Dowie. No tea. Not not even one. Not even a, one single tea. I scared them away. Oh, come on. What are you talking about? can't just scare away a meerkat. You can. You can. Let's be real here. You can probably. Look at this guy. Is so happy. He's like, holy shit. These meerkats, they've, they, they've got the super bonus. Oh, 50% enrichment. Okay. Keep waiting to see if we can get another one. Um, right. We got 661 people in the park. Sorry, the zoo. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking Planet Coaster here. That's way too big, actually. We don't want... We don't want a, a stone of that size. We don't want a, a stone such as that. We don't want a stone of, of, of that caliber. It's too... That's too big. That's too... That's a bit too small. This one is uh, not too big, not too small, but just the size of Montreal. Shit. <laughs> uh, Maybe we'll just go for this, like, long tubular, like a log. Like a log one. Okay, good. Fucking huge. I like the uh I like the surrounding bit that we're doing here. It's it's shaping up real nice. I think it's looking good. Leave that bin where it is, but maybe surround it a little with some rocks.
Do 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 do. Wow. Do 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 do. That's a big one. All right, and then we can just come in here with uh, and do bushes, some bushes. Some little bushes and some little uh, little plants. Little bushes, little plants, and some flowers. Some hidden, hidden flowers. I don't know about the long row of flowers though. It's a bit too much. I think it's a bit too much. You want like these little tufty bits of grass. These are the best. And there's um, there's like an orangey looking one as well. Oh my god, that's huge. It's this one here. No. We can put a couple of these... Um, green ones in too, right? Which ones are they? Uh, not these trees. They're, um, what are they called again? Ah, nettles. Nobody minds a couple of nettles. Isn't it, you can make like a, like a poisonous tea with nettles, can't you? Or am I thinking of something different? Might be thinking of something different. In WoW, you can. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, obvious. Like, that's 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 the, that's the world I live in. I mean, I'm I'm full time. I live in Azeroth. Let's get some... I know, like, it doesn't look like they should be able to grow the rocks, but we're pretending that they're just coming up from, like, the cracks of rocks, right? So this is what I tell myself. I think that's looking pretty nice. It's good. Maybe even get um, like a couple uh, just at the back here as well. We need a, a guy to come and fix this fence. Meerkat Gardens. Okay, while we're doing the gardens, we need to think about what sort of uh, thing we want to get next, right? Something that can really wow people, you know, like we did with the meerkats that time, remember? We brought the meerkats in, and everybody's like, didn't expect it, but they were like, holy crap, that's insane. There's actually meerkats at this zoo. a surface what what's it trying to flatten it to because that's it, why is it it's like ramping up <clears throat> it's ramping up so I want to flatten it to, to this but which one do I use it's like a surface exactly one next to it this one here Flatten to the foundation. Is that... Is 
Is that actually doing it? Maybe. What do we want to put in here? It's a big one. Maybe we could put like giraffes or something in here. Something big. Wolves and snakes in the same pen? Hippos? What about giraffes though? They're great. I love a giraffe. here. I don't want to put them here either though. But maybe just put them back here now. Need a space for these things. You can't even see because of this. The sides. Where do you do this again? Customize? see them in here what do they even look like do they look like little lizards what are they do they look like little salad maybe there's none in here no there is what are they like little slugs they look like little salamanders are they little like, really little? Oh, they look like water lizards. Make a rock enclosure showing off wild rocks? Hey. Don't tempt me, Giso. I'll do it. I will do it. That I will do. Okay. Animal trading. Meerkat? No. What about moose? <clears throat> what about a moose? I think we could put a zebra and uh, we could put zebras and giraffes in the same enclosure, right? If it was big enough. They can uh, they can they can coexist. I don't even think I have giraffe. What does it come under? Giraffe. What is the plural a moose? Mo mooses. I think it's mooses. Leopard, pangolin? <coughs> Blacktail prairie dogs? We get camels. We get African buffalo. Where the hell are the giraffes? Reticulated giraffe? Six hundred and fifty two leaf bucks. Oh my god, look at how much these things cost. Jabari and Keisha. Okay, so if I look at this in Zoopedia, interspecies enrichment. So we can put in zebras, African buffaloes, we could put rhinos, 
Springboks, Thompson's Gazelles, Antelopes, Warthogs, Ostriches, Wildebeests. You'd need a lot of space for that one. Yeah. If we were going to do all this. I think if we were going to do that, we would have like a massive one and just call it Africa. We could make a cool sign. Dr. Eddie Monroe's African Experience. Or something like that. Or we could make a safari. Yes, we could make a safari. If we were going to make a safari, it'd have to be a bit like Longleat, though. Where um, we'd have to have separate airlocks for like the different parts of Africa. Because like uh, you could not put the lions in, for example, with all of those animals that we just looked at. Because they would murder all of them in a heartbeat. Africa with a car ride through it? Okay, well, that's on the back burner. I, that cannot happen right now. I don't even think we have all this stuff researched yet for cars. We might have some more enrichment for meerkats, though. We want to take a look. I, I really like this little enclosure. I think it's come up nice. I think it looks pretty good. I think it looks fine. They got a water jet rock. They got a bamboo feeder. Uh, what about a tennis ball? Just a simple... What about a simple tennis ball for the meerkats to enjoy? He's coming over to check it out. Look. He's thinking about it. He's so enriched right now. He sniffed it. Maybe that's enough. Maybe that's just enough. Um, I think we are... A bit of inbreeding might be occurring here. Maybe uh, they'll be really upset in a second as well. What can we put here then? What's a what's a? Um, I mean, it's a big enough pen, but it's not huge. Maybe this is where we could put the otters, and then we could have our. Um, uh, we could have like a like the 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 big sort of main attraction could be something like penguins. And polar bears. No, polar bears would eat everything, right? We we need to move this anyway, right? And this this part of the of the park is like a bit more complete now. Beavers? Oh yeah, I could do beavers. I've got the uh, the North American uh, pack now. <sighs> There's too many options. How do I clear the the uh, the filter here? There's no clear the filter button. Okay, giraffes and zebras and stuff will will come back to you. Beavers. North North American beaver. Okay, we can't share a habitat with these guys. They need a fair bit of space with a little bit of water. How are we going to make the will they make their own dam? You have to build the dam for them? Is it like an enrichment thing that you can unlock? A, a dam, like kind of like the little hidey holes for the meerkats? Give them a hydro dam? Oh, God. What about... Um, oh, polar bears. We could do hippos. We've had hippos before, though, right? In in one of our previous zoos. I mean, I know we had giraffes and stuff, too. Crocodiles, a tiger. What about a Siberian... Uh, what about some hyenas? They're nasty, eh? They only need a grade 2 fence, but they need a lot of space. I think we did uh, hyenas at one point as well. Maybe we get some monkeys. Grade 3 climb-proof. They need a little bit of space. They need to be able to climb as well. You want to get some chimpanzees? That could be fun. We got we we have meerkats already. We just got them. Doctor Eddie Monroe's monkey madness. <laughs> yes. Put all the big cats and shove them together. I mean, there's like snakes and stuff here too. Some of these are for the. Uh, what about a sun bear? 
I'm just having a scroll through to see if anything really sort of like jumps out, you know? What about horses? They're Russian horses. Beavers. Moose. Okay, they need a bit of space, the moose. They need a little bit of drinking water as well. Dr. Eddie Monroe's moose experience. How about that? Do they have any interspecies? Um, no. Moose just wants to be on its own. Man, let's do moose. Let's do a moose. Moose madness. Okay. We could make like a um, like a viewing gallery um, learning thing for the moose as well, right? Would be could be kind of cool. So if we go paths from here, and we make stairs, and then we swap over to wood. More like outdoor wood, though. Maybe this is the maybe this is the uh, the key here is to do the ramps so that we can make it a bit more wheelchair and and push chair friendly, you know, mobility scooters and stuff. Yes. spectacle here for the mooses animal trading species North American beaver so what do we want a moose this is a big moose all right so they need a grade 3 fence 1.25 meters or above only a tiny little bit of water Sure. A grade three fence. So grade three gla glass is grade three. The wooden logs are grade three, which is perfect. Perfect height as well. come to a zoo to, to view a moose? If you knew that uh, your local zoo in town uh, had a moose, would you go to visit said moose? Would you peruse the moose? Yes, you would. Okay. Just checking. Just wanted to make sure that I was doing the right thing here. Making uh, making a moose enclosure.
Okay. I think we need, uh, we need, uh, like, some glass panel viewing areas, right? But we'll also probably need, um, to, to change this, too. Edit barrier and make it out of, um, glass? So that if people are watching from here, they can't jump in, see the moose. Uh, this one needs to have, um, oh wait, have we, do we have the barrier where you can have a glass panel? <sighs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Never mind. I remember the option. One way glass, glass. Glass. Oh, this is cool because you can actually make it so that they only view from like one spot. So, in fact, we don't need the glass here because we don't want to clog up the uh, the path here, right? Because they're going to have this whole viewing station thing up here. Two-way mirror enclosure. For one single moose. My town doesn't have a zoo. So if there was a zoo in my town with a moose, it would be a miracle. <laughs> Poor Elena. You should go to a zoo. Uh, I mean, I don't know how, how long it would take you to get to another town that has a zoo, but... I feel like it w might be fun. You know? Can you build a road in there so people can experience crashing a car and a moose? And they're car just um, crumples like an accordion because that's what happens um, yeah I think so okay let's get this moose in here oh wait hang on a second first things first barriers we're gonna need a wooden habitat gate should be accessible from oh look it's trying to make it go Okay, I'm, I'm happy with it being here. The only thing is, though, is that the, the pathing is mega, mega, mega screwed up here. Okay, I'm happy for it to be there. Alright, so we're going to put, um, we're going to buy a moose. We're going to buy two moose. We're going to buy um, Hobart and uh, probably, um, yeah, Fallon. We'll have two moose. Hobart. Yeah, his name is Hobart. Ooh, any new uh, enrichments for meerkats? No, just a tennis ball. Bedding. Shelters, they got their little shelter. Food and water. No, there's not much more. Um, we've done more research, but there's not any more enrichment. Food enrichment. There's a water jet. I don't really want to put a water jet in there, though. Where's my moose? Oh, Gino, Gino is about to mate. There's going to be little baby meerkats in a minute. Oh my god. Oh, here they come. Here come the moose. Wowzers. There you go. <laughs> oh, look at this moose. Okay. 
there's too much sand in here. They want uh, rock soil. They want grass and uh, a little bit of rock, I think. Uh, they want a little bit of water. They don't need a heck of a lot of water, though. Okay. That's even more water than they actually needed, but it's fine. Okay, and then in terms of environment, plant and coverage, they can go crazy with it. We got big options here. Coverage and plants is fine. Terrain. There's still too much sand in here that we have to get rid of. They don't want any sand in here. Where's the rest of the sand? Hey, I got it, okay. Now there's too much soil. Let's put some rock in here too. Where would a moose normally sleep? In the bush? In a tree? In a bush? In a trench? In a very thick forest? Right. This will be moose enclosure. Boo boo ba doo boo boo doo 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 Vet research is done, nice.
These moose are loving it. They love this. Whoa, that's a big poplar. I think we can go nush, uh, nush. <laughs> I think we can go, I think we can go really nush. I think we can go nuts with uh, bushes and stuff in this one, which is good. I need some more rocks. a pointy rock. Pointy rocks are always nice. Oh, I love the... Hey, look! He's having a bath! He's having a bath in the in the water. Do 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 do. I love the uh, I love reeds. They look great. You gotta like not align them to the surface though. If you want them to look not all crazy, but I do like them a lot. They're great. Uh, great line. No. We can align these to the surface. It's fine. gonna want some these guys are gonna want some food soon right or can they just eat all these plants that I'm putting up uh, let's see habitat meerkats no we want moose species moose You can't make, um, whoa. All the capybaras have a disease. All the babies. We gotta get them into quarantine. We might need another bet. Okay, cool. That's done. Let's research this. Mm. Gotta make them wear masks. I think so. Yeah, they've only—they were only just born, and already they're causing so many problems. Okay, I'm upping the price per ticket to ten dollars. Majestic Moose. Uh, there's actually two. One is in the water right now.
Um, okay. Food? Food and water? Yeah. Good. Now people can watch them eat when they're uh, sitting at this viewing platform, enjoying the moose. The, the moose lodge. That's right. Can't put that one on the outside, right? It's gotta go on the inside. Um, whoops, what is this? This is wooden. Vertical wooden planks. This is the people exhibit, yes. That's it. That's the one. Capybaras are joining packs. Is this a bad thing? in the middle, and then this needs to go like that. Nice! Yeah, this is looking up pretty nice, actually. It fits, it fits like a glove.
Okay, sure. Make up a nice mini park in the gap? Yeah, I'm going to, yeah. I'm going to put a little, um, maybe like a statue or something. I'm not sure yet. Limestone? I think we don't do that. Nice. I can't select these. It's annoying. I think I can only move. Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's worth if you've never seen a moose before? No, if you've never seen a moose before, you come here, you look at a moose, you feel great, and then you go home. Right? made it like uh open or like with a what if we put like a like a glass dome roof a glass dome like a mini dome <sighs> bring the dome show me the dome show me the dome <clears throat> much to just have like uh, uh maybe we just like make it open a bit so we could put like um a roof for example see right so I have to go like that
Whoa. Oh yeah, they were full height, that's why. <laughs> Do the incline of the roof the other way around? Yeah, you're probably right, actually. If we need these. I don't even know if we need the bit on the side. I just go something like that maybe. We need like some uh, some supports. What the hell is this? Why is it put, trying to put these panels um, onto the grid? These are supposed to be just loose. Logs. People are stuck on the ramp. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're stuck on the ramp because they're <laughs> using the ramp to look at the at the llamas. This isn't for. This, this is not for llama viewing? Stop this! <laughs> They're still looking! They're looking, <laughs> looking through the wall! Don't do this! They're looking through the wood? Maybe they're just, maybe these guys are just stuck. Maybe they'll move along in a minute. Maybe, they're, maybe their whole family is stuck in the wood. We can make it. Um, I wonder if you could put like a. Uh, here, let me try something. I I know this will not work, but I'm just gonna try it anyway. For for fun, okay? Just for fun. Okay, I don't need one that big. I I don't need. This will be fine. And then if I put a sign on here, um, facility signs, no, this won't really work, right? All custom miscellaneous. Where's the one uh, standing signs, facility shop signs? Oh, this one here, guest barrier sign. What if I put... Wait, why is this? Why is it doing this? Why is it? Sn why? How did I get into like full? S oh, position snap. 
I must have accidentally pressed it. Okay, let's see if they actually follow this advice. Then we can make like an in, an in and a, and an out. All right, just keep doing that for now. It's fine. It doesn't stop them from going up halfway and then turning around, though. There's over a thousand people in the uh, zoo right now. No, they don't. They they pay no attention to this whatsoever. Look, they just walk right by. They ignore it. Okay, fine. And it looks like they're still using this to view. Even though there's a wall there, they're still using this to view the llamas from from up here. Yeah, I got meerkats. Look, they're they're just over here. The game is getting. Hey, they had babies too. Whee! We got a viewing dome for them as well. Which people were using a lot before, but they don't seem to be using it so much now. Transport rides. This guy. There you go. Look. See, they're looking. <laughs> they love that. Your local zoo has that. Yeah, mine does too. For the meerkats, a little dome, a little viewing dome. They love. They love the dome. Man, I love the dome too. I'm so so happy that I was able to build a dome. Can we get a dome in the moose enclosure? I don't know if we want to put a dome in the moose enclosure because I feel like things could get a little bit crazy down there. What if the moose bucks the dome, you know? What if? Is there a flat one? Yeah, there is. It's like going to like a, it's like going to a football match <laughs> with all this. I think I don't know how we're gonna support all this. What would we use? Structural props? Maybe just one of these? But a long one? This actually stays straight. It has as well. Holy crap. Moose need shelter? Oh yeah, that's true. What kind of shelter do they uh, do uh, do moose need? Some sort of cave.
yeah, you can do these too. Nice. I don't know where, I don't know where I'm going to make their, uh, their sleepy spot. Okay, I'll make it here. Construction. Do we want to do a shelter? Or do we want to make a cave? What do you think? Cave takes too long to make, I feel like. We just put like a really simple shelter for them. Oh, part of me, sorry. A barn. A big moose barn? I don't want to make a big moose barn. A moose dome. <laughs> I don't know if I want to make a big, <laughs> a big moose dome. I mean, they are kind of cool, though. Just let the moose stay loose? How long before the moose gets so unhappy, though? You need to do some more decorating. My, my game is, like, lagging a little bit. Only, like, ever so slightly, though. Do you usually live in campers near lakes? Dropping frames already? I know we're only uh, we're only a thousand people. Okay, Janie Bridges, good job. It seems uh, especially bad over here. Maybe it's uh, the llama enclosure is. Prone to disease, apparently, because it's so filthy. Doesn't look that filthy to me. Looks clean enough. I'd I'd stay there. Turn off climbable areas by highlighting the entire park. Does that actually help? Does that help with like frame rate and stuff? It lags less. How do I select everything in the whole park? You just gotta click on something and then just drag over the whole thing. Did I make the information area myself? Which one? This, in here, this one. I made this all myself. The, you mean like the little island? Like it looks like um, it's like a store, like at Disney or something, right? Yeah, no, I I made all this. I don't know if I've used any blueprints actually. I think I just made all this stuff, more or less. It's nice, the little um, info area. It's not, it's not bad. We've, we made a lot today, actually. We've done a lot today. We made all these. This. We made this meerkat enclosure. <coughs> we just started work on this moose one. We're getting more and more animals. We're getting animals quicker than we've ever gotten them before. There's aquariums. Yeah, there's like uh, sea life you can get. Uh, Seals, oh, uh, we should make a, 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 a seal thing. They're so funny to watch as well, aren't they? Where's the seal? Do I have them? It's not just going to be called seal though, right? It's going to be called like, uh, I don't know, something else. Platypus? Not a platypus. It'll be like a um, seal brown bear. A gray seal. Nice. We'll get, we'll get some. We'll, get, we'll do that one next. It'll be fun. A South African wart-faced seal. 
No, 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 no. Make a seal enclosure. Make it the biggest enclosure the world has ever seen. Have like a hundred seals in it. Okay, the tickets are still underpriced. Going up to 11. We have uh, Meerkat. Oh, what's wrong with him? He's hungry. We might need some more uh, enrichment for them. For a moose? Species? Meerkat. Look at this tunnel. We can give them a bamboo feeder as well. They might like that. The protesters are here because this little meerkat is uh, not feeling very well. My guests are laughing at the dying meerkat? No, no. Don't say that. Maybe they are actually, who knows. 12 bucks? It's now 12 bucks a ticket? We've got half a million in the bank? He's playing ball! <laughs> He's really going for it. <laughs> Man, that's good. He loved that. Hey, he's sitting! <laughs> Look at him! Oh, man. Okay, vet research on that is done. Janie Bridges, let's get you researching a moose. Ticket price, I'm going to put it up to 15 bucks. Because it just keeps alerting me. I, I guess they just want to spend more money. We've only got one ATM, but maybe that's an... Jesus Christ. Okay, we're going to need a couple of caretakers. How many do we currently have? Caretakers? we got two. Okay. We need some major cleaning here. There is garbage everywhere. And it's crazy because there's there are garbage cans down here. There are fully garbage cans down here. make some more places for people to sit. I love this. I love I love this area in here. It's nice, isn't it? Okay, what were we working on? Oh yeah. We need a shelter for a moose. A moose shelter. Are you able to drink water from here? This guy is so thirsty. This guy is not is not fi not filling up the water. Maybe we give them uh we can't you can't give them a natural watering hole cuz they'll probably drown, right? How do they get into the bubble dome thing from here? Look. This is the entrance. They might go in. No, they're not going in. Somebody might be going in. You want me to wait so you can see? You see him go into the dome? This person might go in. The dome? Maybe they will? Oh, maybe this family's going, look. Kids love the dome. And who can blame them? 
No, they're not going in the dome. I think they're all uh, meerkatted out. Is there water in here? Yes. Okay, good. He's had his drink of water. Nice. Um, we might need to uh, get um, a bigger... A bigger water bowl. Because there's quite a few meerkats in there now, isn't there? Alright. I don't mind using this Australian wood. I, I, I like it enough. We've got some planks here too. log column. This is quite a big log. put in here I don't know if we have a moose statue I don't know if a moose statue is possible look at this oh that's really cool and it's got like the uh, like the cold uh, the cold mist on it too <coughs> sorry I'm all flimmed up oh look at this with the uh, with the crocodiles on it very nice I like this. I think that's great. There must be those shapes of stones and stuff as well, right? For the, uh, somewhere? What do you call those? Isn't there, like, a place in Ireland where there's, like, a whole area with, like, these, like, th these, like, weird stops, stop sign shape, uh, Giant's Causeway? That's the one, yeah. I gotta go there sometime. That, that sounds awesome. We could put like a dodo, a chicken, an elephant. Oh, it's a shame there's no moose. I mean, we could put a stag, but there's one like right next to uh, to here. There's got to be a moose somewhere, right? There's got to be one. Anyway, let's just do this for now. Uh, so what is this? Habitats, species, moose. Feeding stations, beds, and shelters. Beds. size of these ones some of these are huge we just don't have a uh, 
a big enough enclosure for that. Did I just hear protesters? Where'd the poopy go? Where'd the poopy go? I need some, um... Leaf. Nope. No leaves, but periwinkle. Periwinkle is new. I don't think I've ever seen this periwinkle before. It's nice. There's periwinkle leaves here, too. Can we get ivy? Oh, yeah. Ivy counts here. That's good. Moose are quite noisy, huh? Lots of like burping noises. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so loud. <laughs> so loud. Holy crap. <laughs> Mario is in the park, yeah. Mario is in the park. Ivy. 
this uh, this aster looks nice too, doesn't it? It's a full tree. I don't really want that. Poplar. Some bit of bracken here too. I'm just setting up a couple little doodads. Don't judge me. And put a little bit more soil in here too. Not too much though. That's looking fine. It looks all right. They got somewhere to sleep now. I think they should be uh, pretty happy. Yeah. Yep. Nothing. Nothing in here that shouldn't be in here. Everything is fine. Overall welfare is good. They just need a little bit of enrichment. We could give them a, a melon. melon feeder and then what about like a hanging grazer he's going for it okay good oh I think we've just unlocked some more stuff for them No new enrichment items, though. He might play with his rubber duck. Hey, Melon Nose. <laughs> what are the enriching trees? These ones? Scratching tree, Scots pine, and scratching tree tamarind. It's just so they can scratch themselves. On the tree. I'll put one in. See if they like that. They got this scratching post here too, right? We need to do some more work on it. It's so laggy around here for some reason. It just seems to be in this enclosure. I'm not sure why. Do, do, do. can't really put this one up here. Uh, I suppose we could actually. Yeah. 
Ugh. Who's doing all these farting noises out here? Uh, facilities we want. <laughs> An animal talk point? Yep. This one can be linked to this seating. And we'll do educational content on the moose. Scenery rating is 37%. We'll put something there, a little something there f for the kids. Love this moose. Uh, we need some uh, whatchamacallits up here too, right? Donation spots? <laughs> moose learning. Look, it's my cool. He's having a nap. He's having a little sleep. Oh, this is placed too far away from the from the moose. That's better. We should have a, a keeper doing a moose talk at some point as well, right? Be good. to like seep through I don't mind a couple of rocks out here but we can put some plants and stuff and then maybe we can even set up some little um, you know like uh, informational boards so we gotta make sure that we got the um, look these things what the heck are they what the heck are they where are those they come under uh, education ah here they are these ones here. <laughs> Over exploitation and poaching and the exotic pe pet trade. There. Now people are thinking. Hang on a second. This kind of stuff happens. We've awoken the beast. The will of the people. Yes. Yes. This is great. All the all these decorations now though are kind of lagging me out a little. Oh no. It's a, a little bit of clipping on that one. No thanks.
That's nice. They've, they're stopping to read. They are reading. Already lagging with five animals and 1k visitors? Yeah, yeah a little bit. Not uh, not like too, too much, but um, a little tiny bit. Mm, we can do a tour. Want to do a tour? Oh, God, wow, that's huge. 32, 16 lit. Oh my. <laughs> There's this tiny one. Look at this little one. Where can we put this little screen? Oh my god, that's huge. Oh my god, that's so big. That one's a little bit better. Okay. Eddie's Spicy Kitchen. How do we put a square gulpy? Missy. We'd have to make our own, right? I think you can do custom ads now. Wide square. Chief Beef. Okay, who wants to make me a uh, an Eddie's Spicy Kitchen um, um, ad? And I'll put it on this screen. If somebody wants to do that, oh my god, I would love you forever. For now, we're just going to have to put this one on and pretend that those are prices for food. Yeah. Eddie's spicy kitchen. Yeah, this one here. Look. Eddie's Eddie's spicy kitchen. Oh, what happened to the lettering at the back? Oh my god. This is meant to be there. It's meant to make it pop. Eddie's Spicy Kitchen. It's the uh, restaurant. Eddie's Spicy Kitchen is the uh, is our restaurant at our zoo. We need an ad for it if somebody wants to. Llama enclosure is filled with dung at the moment. Transport rides, you'll be pleased to know, is complete. Uh, we're going to get um, Melinda Moran onto uh, North Africa theme straight away.
Yeah, I've got a couple of keepers now, yeah. I, I hired like three today. The North Africa theme is goated? Hmm. Remember when we made that big bridge? We made that bridge in... Um, remember we had the... Um, we had everything set up so that you could visit all those water animals on a boat? Remember we had the big uh, the dock for it? And, uh, and we had hippos and flamingos and we had the path and everything? And then it didn't work? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, it was the, the safari. We started setting up the safari and then we just started hemorrhaging money. The, the safari broke the zoo. It wasn't so much the boat ride. But people were getting stuck on the boat. Remember we had that huge uh, glass uh, Victorian like greenhouse thing? And with, with the walk-through tortoise enclosure? <laughs> yeah, the boats are too slow, I think. I think you're right. Gotta keep on top of the finances. I know, I know, I know. Two meter roof. Okay. Roof. So this is the one meter. Ah, two meters. Here you go. Aha! Uh -huh. What do you got for me? What's new in the world of moose? A large barrel feeder? Hey look, they're playing with the duck. God, they love swimming, eh? I love our moose. I'm so glad that we put a moose in here. I don't know if this is really needed because they've got water, right? They can just drink from that. But maybe people will enjoy watching them eat and drink from here. Can we get a moose fact of the day? Yeah, sure. Your moose fact for today is, uh, did you know that uh, this moose has not one, not two, but four legs? Tune in tomorrow for some more moose facts. <laughs> it did it, shitting. Of course it is. Um, I yeah, I grew up with a family of moose in Canada, and I also had a pet polar bear, and um, I lived in an igloo. And uh, my dad's name is Jonky Tupperware, and uh, we all we ate was Joe Louis, and we drank and we washed it down with Pepsi every every night. <laughs> and pet penguins as well, yes, yes. All all dressed ruffles, Joe Louis, and Pepsi, Crystal Pepsi. Washed it down with some some pep. Pepsi Cristal. <laughs> yeah, I told you that. Yeah, I know. It is an interesting fact. You're right. You are right about this. What can we put in here? Maybe we can put some more, like, food and stuff in here. But maybe just, like, little vending machines? We could. Uh, we could. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, we could put, like, uh, some shops. We could put, like, a Looney Bloons. Well, maybe we should put a Looney Bloons in the uh, information uh, building, you know? Go.
Could or should. Could and should. Could and should. Could and should. How's my axolotl doing? I don't know. <laughs> sort of taking a sort of taking a bit of a back seat. He's just back here. <laughs> I, just, I don't know. I haven't checked on him really. There's two of them in there. They might still be making lots. I don't know. Now, there's a couple. We got a couple in the trade center here that we can release to the wild. For 16 leaf bucks. No. Oh. Did I drink coffee today? No, I didn't. I'm not, uh, I'm not an everyday coffee drinker, me. Sometimes um, I wish I did drink coffee every day. I'd probably be less tired, but then it's not the answer. I should just sleep more is what I should do. <laughs> oh, my God. What are you guys doing? You can't sit there. Um, let it be said that we do have many benches and many garbage cans in this park. Perhaps to... Did you see that? They just chuck money up through the wall into this. From here. That's crazy. I think this over here is considered potentially viewing space for the llamas, that's why. Just like stream people chucking money at you through the that's true, yeah, through the wall through the veil. Through the 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 wall, the internet wall. That's exactly right. I wonder if we could do like a Looney Bloons like but like similar to what we've done in here. You know, like this like open without a like a roof or whatever. I think we could do it, you know. Set it up like a make it look like an outdoor market or something. And then just put like some um, some tarps over the top instead of it being enclosed like in a in a building. That might look kind of cool because there's lots of like we can make it look almost like especially with the uh, I think with the India theme stuff there is a, there's a whole bunch of like um, themed scenery around that kind of stuff you know like make it look like uh, I don't know like an like an outdoor like uh, market like on Hitman. I know that's not in India, but, uh, you know, maybe that's racist. I don't know. Not Hitman 2. Yeah, like a bazaar sort of thing. I don't know. I, I guess I am canceled. I mean, <laughs> hey, my cool is about to mate, though. Look at this. I love you. I love you, too. Whoops. I'm pregnant. Who's the daddy? I don't know. Daddy's going crazy in here. <coughs> yeah, my cool got an, a an animal too, Erica. Sorry, I didn't. I haven't given you uh, an animal. You want to be a meerkat? Check out these people in the viewing dome. Would you like to be a meerkat and get viewed from the dome? Let's look through the eyes of this person. <laughs> oh, spooky! <laughs> nice, nice. This is what it's like to walk around in this zoo. Oh, where to now? Have the viewing dome in a line enclosure, and then have a button to pop open the dome. It's the, we're not. This is not uh, the game that I play in the evenings. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, or any other sort of like weird murder simulation. This is a, a, a family-friendly kids game. It's called Planet Zoo. There would be no option for that. 
it's kind of weird that there's no option for that stuff in Planet Zoo, but there is options in Planet Coaster to overtune your coasters and send them flying and kill people. I'm just saying. You can do that in their other game. When is Planet Coaster time? I don't know. They haven't really added anything to Planet Coaster, have they? We went so hard on Planet Coaster the last time we played it. This, I, I feel like the zoo is shaping up. I know it's kind of a boring square zoo or whatever, but like, I don't know. It's I, I, I still like it anyway. I think it's shaping up nice. I, I feel like it's shaping up nice because we're adding stuff to it instead of just... Um, you know, decorating, like, one thing for, like, days and days and days. It's nice to add animals and enclosures and just, like, it, uh, like the enclosures are just, they, they look pretty nice and they're they're just simple. But it's uh, it, it's been fun. It's been good. It needs an airport, yeah. What animals do we have on the left? Here, look, I'll show you. We have capybaras. Quite a few of them, in fact. Um... And then over here, we got some llamas. A couple of llamas. We got their, a scratching. But look at all the money. Jeez, people are just chucking money in here like crazy. Look how busy it is down here. Um, and then in here, we got moose. Some moose. I think we need to uh, schedule a uh, talk, right? Allow standing guests. Yeah, link seating. Can throw food. 45%. Scenery manage talks. So we got animal talk three, otter talk. This is a uh, moose talk. Moose timetable March, January, February, March. So, so Moose Talk will only happen next month in January? So January is uh, Moose Month? I have an educator. One, only one, though. But he can do one talk a month, right? Uh, I think the capybara talk allows standing guests. Yeah. Hey, look, I think he's coming to do it right now, actually. Yeah, there's no seating for this one. He's a master speech giver, this guy. He's coming here. Look at how busy it is down here. There's 976 guests in the in the zoo right now. It's packed. We could do it. We can do uh, organized tour uh, pretty soon too. We'll have to make a route. The route can go like around here. This this whole area here will be a big enclosure, and I think maybe we'll put like seals or like polar bears or something cool like that. Maybe polar bears. Polar bears be fucking awesome. <clears throat> Seals would be pretty fucking awesome too, though, actually. What's the weirdly light grass mark thing on the ground? This. Uh, I think it's um, short grass versus long. Uh, what did we build in? Oh, yeah, we our old uh, llama enclosure was here. So it had some paths and stuff. What about what about actual seal instead of seals? You mean uh, kiss from a rose? Hoo hoo! Yabba dabba 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 kiss from a rose. Shabba dabba do. You mean that one? That seal? The the seal? The seal? I'm banned. Shit. All right, chat. Um, listen, I gotta go. I I have to go and uh, take my kids uh, to uh, their swimming lesson. I'm on I'm on duty today, but I started early, and uh, we still managed to get a uh, a pretty decent stream in today. So um, I will uh, love you and leave you. 
Nice pits of the thanks so much. Um, I'll be uh, I'll be back on later tonight. I'll probably play some party animals with uh, people if people are around. Maybe some chainsaws with Justin or something. I don't know. Um, failing that, we'll uh, we'll carry on with this, and then I'll be around tomorrow during the day, uh, usual time, and we'll carry on with this. We'll uh, we'll we'll try to we'll try to do a, a big enclosure like at right at the start. And then uh, maybe look at some transport options for getting people to different parts of it. It would be cool to set up a safari at some point as well. I think that would be pretty awesome. And then we'll need some new, some more facilities. Need some more facilities for workers and stuff like that too. But uh, we, we, it's just such a chill game, isn't it? We just take our time and just fart around and add stuff and check out some of the stuff from the DLCs and stuff. It's nice. Yeah, we do need uh, more staff. Yeah, the monorail would be kind of fun. Yeah, it'd be fun to set up a monorail for sure. Um, listen, thanks so much for watching. Um, I appreciate uh, you watching. I appreciate all the support. Thanks for the subs and the resubs and all of the donations as well. Much appreciated. And the gift subs too. Jesus. There's been tons of gift subs recently. Thank you very much. And uh, donations as well. Thanks so much. Um, I'll be back uh, in a couple hours uh, later on tonight. And um, we'll uh, we'll play something then too, yes? Okay, chat. LOL, lots of love. Thanks very much. Um, I'll see you soon. Okay. Peace. Bye now. Bye.